Welcome, welcome, welcome to episode 248 is D Wells along with the entire OSD crew coming to you live and direct from the OSD studio. Thanks for tuning in as you do each and every week. If you're not familiar with us, get familiar very quickly. OSD, the only live sneaker talk show on the World Wide Web. Wednesday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 8.30 Central, 6.30 Pacific at OSDlive.com. We got the OSD crew. We're getting ready to the countdown. This is episode 248. Not from Houston, but I rap a lot. That's an old and salute to the one and only, the one and only rap a lot records in Houston, Texas, where it's all going down this weekend, H-Town Sneaker Summit, more importantly, as well as hmm, a little thing called the NBA All-Star Weekend. So, man, we got a good show in store for you. Hopefully, you're going to rock out with us. And more importantly, you can catch this show on OSD Live under the, uh, under the tab called Talk Show. As well as in a couple of days, yes, you can go and get the audio version of the show as well. So we keep it going just for all of you, the sneakerheads, the sneaker aficionados, all the people that love leather and rubber. And be believe this, we don't MSU. We always tell the truth. <laughs> so believe that. Let's go straight to Houston. Let's go with Mr. 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 Big Hat with the fresh. Ooh, looking good. Yeah. I had to get a, I, What's I had up, man? It up, man? I'm going on uh, Fox News tomorrow. Oh, uh oh! Live from the brand new uh, DS Originals Collective Concept Shop located nice. the in Willowbrook and Greens Point Malls, right here in Houston, Texas. And I heard there'll be a lot of celebrity guest appearances in there this weekend. So, you know, stay tuned to your uh, Instagram and Twitter if you're unable to make it down here for the uh NBA All-Star game taking place this weekend but also the H-Town Sneaker Summit man it's going down on Sunday our ninth annual winter event right there at the Woodlands Waterway Marriott going to feature the very best from Adidas Originals who's also bringing a special guest got a lot of other brands coming out uh Diamond Supply Co Crooks and Castles Flood Watches Supra Reebok uh, look see goods, Rasta Clot, Accomplice Clothing. list goes on and on, but I'm sure a lot of you guys are coming down. I think everyone on the show tonight is coming down. And uh, you just stay tuned to our Twitter feeds. I think most of it, us have it on the lower third there, and you will see all the action going down nice. right here in H-Town. Indeed. Man. You guys got to, you have some of everything going down in Houston, man. Man, it's too much to list. I mean, I man, I I should have put it on my calendar, but you know me, I'm just waiting for a uh, a fire drill right now. I'm waiting for things to start going wrong. No, no, no. It's to yeah. be all good. It's to be oh, all good. Of course, of course, but I told people I'm not making any plans, you know. I'm going to make sure everything's taken care of on Sunday. So, you know, that's my job. There you go. There you go. Let's head on to the O, to the N, to the E. That is the one and only Mr. Ridiculous Creative. Man, what's up, what's up? sir? What's up, what's up? Sorry what for we, the... What do we got in the background? Oh, oh that's the uh, that's uh, the Ridiculous Pack of 2012s, or what are we calling them now? The 27s? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we got the... Uh, the original pack that I did with Nike ID, which is the classic okay. concrete pack. And then the last one there is the uh, Shaolin Monk. Ah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I, I, I might be revamping my, my bag for uh, for H-Town Sneaker Summit. You know, all of us are going through what to wear. And then when I get ready for the show, I always try and have a little something of my own in the background. And when I started unpacking those joints, I'm, I was like, day one. Day two, day three. <laughs> yeah, so those might have to come with. I might uh might revamp the bag. What's going down, OSD? Oh, uh, we're good. We're good. Glad we all here, safe and sound, ready to do what we do. Absolutely, we, absolutely. We're not from Houston, but we rap a lot, and that's what we're gonna do tonight. <laughs> no doubt. Man, paper. What's good, old professor? What is good? SB number one, Kadoma, ridiculous. I am uh. I'm 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 cautiously excited before I get ready to take my trip down to H Town. You know, <laughs> it's just a lot buzzing, man. And um, you know, kadoma has got a few surprises. You know, I got a few surprises for H Town. Well, really, just one. But um, for those of you who will be in the house for the H Town Snickers Summit, the 
crew from Fuse TV. That's right, Fuse TV, the MSG nemesis, the, the cable channel that does play music. Um, they will actually be in the house with me for the H-Town Sneaker Summit, covering the whole experience. So it's going to be live and direct in H-Town. So, you know, make sure everybody's got their game right. You know, of course, all of the uh, most important people to the movement, of course, will be spoken to and get that camera time. But, of course, we want to talk to a few of you guys out there who are, you know, just like us, regular everyday people who love sneakers and sneakers are the conduit that brought us all together for such an esteemed event like the H-Town Sneaker Summit. So I'm looking forward to having a good time and shedding a positive light on what it is that every six months we get together for. So the crew from Fuse TV actually believes in that. And they're going to be one of those networks, major networks going forward that is going to stand behind some genuine sneaker content not anything contrived. So this is one of their first forays into it. You know, they started off already Fuse TV with, um, they just recently did a feature on the return of Ewing brand. And um, they've been doing some good things with their online content. So this is one of, another major step for Fuse TV in their statement to show you that they're going to give us legitimate sneaker content. So... Let's be ready to get get it right and do what we do yep. on Sunday, Absolutely. February 17th. And we're looking forward again to seeing everybody in the house yep. You know, yep. having a good time and doing what they do, staying positive, enjoying themselves, and just, you know, repping the culture right. If you feel gazy, you're not getting on camera. I already know who you are, so it doesn't <laughs> even matter. I ain't even pointing no cameras your way. So it's going to be a good time. Kodomo, don't even worry, brother. Guarantee. Yeah. I'm gonna do it right. Well let's go to let's go to ATL, the big homie, Mr. Team Bigfoot himself, coming straight out of the uh the, the, the big office, representing number twenty one. No, let me stop. I was gonna do a, a crazy, crazy intro. Mr. Leo and Nita Heat. What's up, sir? What's good, what's good, OSD? Um man, busy trying to get Get work done. Make sure my yeah. work is right. My job is good. Cause when I leave, goddamn it, I'm leaving everything behind. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> say that you like, like, with me. I'm out. You like? Straight. You know what I mean? So you are killing me right now, Pete, with that back there. You too ridiculous. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, y'all killing me right now. I ain't uh, even going. I ain't even going to ask me. about the sizes. Excuse I'm not even going to ask. Excuse me. Excuse me. Did you? Did you? Did you read the runner show? Yes, damn it. Okay, all right. So, the, hey, ain't no more to say, Pimmy. We love you. Whatever. I'm hey. still sick, brother. Right? You and you laughing over there, ridiculous. This shit ain't funny. <laughs> come on, come on now. <laughs> was, I can claim one of one on these. That's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But hey. you, you over there snickering and shit. <laughs> all right. Hey, hey I, all, all I have to say is, I got number thirty-two, and Magic Johnson's one of my favorite basketball players. Well, I tell you, boy, it's, it's a damn shame what they do to us, uh, D, Bigfoot. I can't even talk about D. D. D probably got a 14 somewhere. I don't. I don't. He doesn't. He doesn't. No, nope. nope. that's, that's all right. Shit. That's all right. We're, we're, you know, as I say, good things come to those who wait. I've been waiting for a long ass time, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, so I, I got some. I got something under, under my sleeve that did come big. So heard that. Okay. Cool. So, so, cool. so, what's going on with you, boy? Besides right. getting, besides getting packed and ready to 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 hit the road in the four wheels. Oh man! Just trying to make sure I got my uh <clears throat> my cigar game ready and uh, yeah, trying to figure go. out what shoe was the last. I done, I done picked out about um about, about three pairs so far. Okay. He got me motivated over the weekend. He was over there showing his little Ab Max one. You know? <laughs> <laughs> he had me sick over there. I was like, damn, them shit is yeah, yeah, nasty. 
ridiculous. Oh. You might want to put that up as an overlay and show them how, how to do it. Yeah, I might, let me let me go find that pic. That's gonna be my overlay tonight. Or, or you could just reach right down by your foot right now and just oh, you know what? Man, you know what? They 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 in the other room because they've been prepped for for walking around business. Oh. <laughs> But I'll put up my current overlay and go get them, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been, oh, I've been asking uh, people, I've been asking a lot of people behind the scenes about those kicks. I don't even know if they make them big, but I'm damn sure going to find out. Yo, that, that picture of Ridiculous right there is so crazy right now. With the crown right over his head like that. That's crazy right there. We got to show the viewers that. Oh, dude. wow. That's show the viewers crazy. that. Yeah. That's crazy. You know what this dude? I I, I don't know, I don't know what to say. Ridiculous. He's just being ridiculous. That's all. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Well, like they say, he did that. He did that. So yeah, man. But, yeah, that's crazy. Look, look at that. Look, he just showing off at that point. Right. Look, showing off at that point. That's cool. He'll be back to show off. He'll show off in a minute. So, where we want to take the show? I am. Unfortunately, oh, quick, quick question, quick question. D, yes, are, D are, you, are you coming, D? As of right now, no, unless something majorly drastically changes. Ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, got a lot of, lot, of, lot of family stuff going on right now at this moment. Okay. Okay. Got to gotta take care of that first and foremost. Yeah. Oh, he's back. He's back. Yeah, there he go. There he go. Ugh. Yeah, there he go. Show him the bottom. <clears throat> Now this, what's this sneaker you're showing? Oh. Now? This is oh, this right oh. here would happen to be. Oh my the goodness! Nike Air Max 1987. So they're calling them by the year that the original model was released. So right. The the upper for this is obviously a Hyperfuse Air Max One. They're calling the the other ones by their number designation because they were called that. So you had the Air Max 97, you had the Air Max 2013, but this was the only one that was called the number one. So they switched its de designation just for this model. So it's the Air Max 1987, Ugh. and all the other ones will come with their no with their year stamped on the opposite foot, and then USA Track and Fields logo stamped on the other. Ah, okay. Yeah, this was a particularly sweet model for me. You know, it it was all heart, definitely all heart, no hype. I wanted this shoe because uh, I am a lifelong member, as a member of the a former member of the U.S. team of USA Track and Field. So, this one, this one hit me right in the heart. That that button was pushed before I even realized I spent the money. Ha <laughs> ha! Heard that? Yeah, no doubt. Little little lace swap. I call them the garter snake laces. You know, swapped out the the original laces for the black, the black boot laces. Nice. That's a nice touch right there. I like that. Now, now, now you're just showing off. You know me. You know me. Ridiculous. <laughs> Nike, no bad. Just, or Nike come out with a brand new shoe, Hyper Strike, and all that, and I'm like, mm, something needs changing. Right. Right. <laughs> you know? How was the How's the materials on that joint though? Oh, it's beautiful, man. It's absolutely beautiful. This, this, uh, you know. We we all know about the hyperfuse and I'm past that right now, <laughs> but uh -huh. but I do I do like that it's a stamp so it's it's imperfect. I would imagine that all the stamps have a little bit of variation because it's physically stamped on there. It's overlapping the seams. I don't know if you can see that. What about the inside yeah. of the collar? Ah, the inside is uh, glad you asked. The inside of that is actually. Oh, that's what I was looking for. Yeah, oh. There's a leather leather lined. Oh, the lining, the footbed lining is it's not leather, but it is a polished material, and then uh, it's got. The oh, that's lining. dope. Yeah. That's dope. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's real nice. It's all together, and then that new bottom. Um, the I bottom is what this really this. That's the first thing I see. Yeah, the new bottom is amazing. It's first very you gummy. Gum, you got the gum rubber. Ugh. And then the new 360 bubble is decidedly different. It, when you put it directly next to the uh, the old bubble, it, there's no there's no similarity at all. Yeah, you just oh, shot off. So the bubble, so the bubble is different. <laughs> What's up? So you said the bubble is different. Yeah, the 360 bubble has been changed pretty drastically. Um, I don't know if you can see. It stays a little bit wider here through the pro, uh, through the arch and the midfoot. And uh, there's there's a there's a, a space right underneath the arch 
where before it was just all air and then it was flat. You can see that right there. That's actually a notched out space in, okay. the, uh, in the midsole where it goes up into the air. The forefoot air has been restructured. And then the heel strike air has been restructured and slightly bigger, but they've added, uh, you know, just the structure of it adds a little bit more control. The footbed is wider. I see it. Yeah. yeah. Now, ridiculous. Have you even tried them on? Oh, yeah. I, I, wore them, I wore them the next day. You know me. Oh, yeah. You don't wait. Yeah, nah. I, I feel you. I, I would have hey, I would have had to put them on right out of the box. <laughs> yeah. Oh, believe me, I, I feet was up on the couch for a little bit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now, ridiculous. The Nike Plus symbol is underneath there. Um, yes. Where's the? Is that the integrated or is that the old? You got to get the piece and put it in. You got to get the piece and put it in. I don't know if you can see that in there. Yeah. Old school. Pull the plug. Put the other okay. piece in there. Okay. So, it would have been a nice touch to have this be integrated, but with the with the limited edition, I mean limited. When they said quick strike on these, they meant it. Um, mm -hmm. I went on the um, the USATF site as a member of USATF. We got um, like a day or two head start on the quick strike. When I went to order, there were only four of these left. Wow, four for the entire USATF website. So. Um, I would assume that with that limited quantity, all the special materials and the custom, you know, collaboration design, if they had integrated the Nike Plus, this would be damn near a three hundred dollar shoe. Hmm. They're about to push it that way for LeBron, so why not? Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, this was this was two hundred two hundred flat. So with with any integration, you would be looking at two fifty plus tax. Hmm. Look at that. Look at that. And I probably would have got that. <laughs> that would have been. I mean, I'm, a, I'm an Air Max One fiend, so with a little bit of selling, I'm sure I probably would have sprung for it too. You, you'll see them in Houston. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm still putting them in the rotation. Regardless, they have to come with. So I'll let you have a look at them. They, uh, if you're an Air Max One fan, you won't be disappointed. Oh, uh, and see, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not as big as a fan as Pate, but I'm. I'm a notch below. I love. I've always loved them. It's, it's just a matter of me finding them. You know what I'm saying? Well, and see, but, with the uh, with my my favorite would probably be the '97 because I was actually that was the year I was on the team. Right, you was uh, actually doing and it so, exactly. And so the '97 I want to get, and I'm curious to see because everyone gives credit for the 360 bubble being much later. Like we're talking about the 360 now, but that was actually the first full midsole. Right. That was, uh, that was right. air. It still had foam above it, but that was the original complete airbag. So, right. uh, so that on top of the new 360 is not that big a difference. It's not that big uh, a, a, a mashup. So that's one that I think I do want to try and get my hands on because I think it would be just a solid update to that shoe. Right. <laughs> got you. Got you. So I'm having a problem with the stock report tonight and our stock widget so we are unfortunately without our stock report for tonight's show and I apologize to all of the disorderlies who are always anticipating and looking forward to faithfully reading that um, we don't have it tonight we will definitely have it for the next show when we return on Wednesday of next week so Stay tuned until then for, uh, you know, on your own. Please use your own inspiration to make sure you still keep in touch with those stocks. I know Kadoma does. He has everything locked in on his iPhone. Um, so next week we'll make sure we get back on the horse in terms of covering it live. Remember, we still do the daily stock report as we do every day after 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So sorry, no stock report tonight, but... Let's get into a particular brand who is starting to go a little bit global. So Under Armour has announced that they're going to launch their first or their largest ever. They've had attempts before. But they're going to announce their largest global campaign ever. And it will begin... Oh, it actually begins, what is today? Today, the 13th, right? It is, yep, today's the 13th. So the campaign actually began yesterday globally online for Under Armour. Oh, okay. 
and it will make its debut on Saturday, February 16th on TNT during the NBA All-Star Weekend. So uh, we should look forward to that and seeing who they feature. Um, there's a little bit of it here um, in the article, but I don't want to give some of it away. Um, the YouTube link is also already been provided for online, so I think um, we're going to post that after the show. And um, you want to see that, you can go to OSD Live on our blog tab, and you'll be able to see the video of Under Armour's latest and greatest and largest global campaign they're getting ready to launch. So do what you guys think, think about this? I was going to say, do, do, I don't know if I believe... The, the video I saw, and, and the more I look at it, I, 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 I hate to sound like the old shoe dog, sneaker aficionado, whatever, but I look at the campaign and I'm like, okay, I, I see where Under Armour is going with it. I see where they're trying to compete against Adidas and Nike, and basically, you know, they're shooting for the top. But yeah. they think the consumer is stupid. And really? Yeah, I, I really think they, they really think the consumer who's going to go and buy Under Armour stuff is stupid. And and then they just al- announced and launched this uh, new Under Armour 33, yep. which is a complete jack, rip, whatever you want to call it, from um, you know from Nike and even from Adidas' Me Coach. So I'm like, okay, wait a minute. I Granted, it takes a while for stuff to, to come out. Yep, I put that up on the screen for folks you know, to get a look at that. And, you know, and, and I, I understand that. But at the same time, I, I think that people, they, 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 they're, they're second-guessing or they're thinking that the consumer, they're really going after that 14 to 24 age demographic. That's who they're going after now. Mm. And they're missing, they're missing something. They really are truly missing something. So, um, again, that's just on a quick glance. The more I read about their campaign, the more I read and look at the video, they're mixing MMA, they're mixing workouts, and, you know, pretty soon they're going to have pole dancers. Huh? <laughs> I wouldn't put it past them either. You're so. right. Um, I think what I think I agree with what Dee is saying initially that, uh, and I've said it before, and, uh, you know, Quab and I have gone back and forth about it before. I truly think that they're standing on the shoulders of a giant. They're, they're throwing rocks at Nike. They're, they're daring them to say anything about the fact that they're literally stealing their playbook. Right. Um, and you can tell that they're stealing the playbook because we all know that Nike is a sports marketing company, a lifestyle company, and they market themselves around the idea of fitness and sports. Well, what Under Armour is doing is the same thing, but it's shallow because it doesn't have the backing that Nike has. So... It's almost like kid brother, like Mr. Me Too. Mm. And that's what I feel you can see initially that's lacking. What D is saying he can't quite put his finger on, to me, it's the substance. Right now, they're doing all the same things, but they're wearing Big Brother's clothing, so it looks a little sloppy on them. Wow. Damn. Damn. I mean, dude, cool. could you could you snap on them any harder? I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm saying, <laughs> you know, I, I I truly think they're gonna grow into it. You know what I'm saying? And, and so, so to me, I'm I'm saying that it's a compliment. It's kind of a backhanded compliment. I give you that. But what I'm saying is, it's in the same family, but they but they 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 don't quite fit the clothing yet. This is what you just did. <laughs> <laughs> he, he did this. He he did this. Right. <laughs> hey, I, I, look, I'm, I'm, I'm one that was a fan of stuff. I've, I've said well, that I, I'll, 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 I'll say this. I every time I see Under Armour, I, I, I agree with D in the fact and ridiculous for that matter. Um, I'm always left wanting more, and it seems like they are. It's just, it just seems uncom- incomplete. Every time I see an ad for by them, it's like it's like you get a little tease and you see some potential and then nah, you know what I'm saying? It's like and then it falls off. Yeah. I so it's you. like I, I feel what you're saying though, because it's like, you know, it, it just feels a little empty. It feels like, okay, where's the punchline? You know what I'm saying? So 
I mean, but you like you said, you 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 have a good point though. You have valid points as far as you know. The, <coughs> excuse me. With um, as far as coming from with the standpoint of this, it's like they got the the, the the big brother's clothes on. They just they sloppy on them. Yeah. You know they I went mean, and got a cam. They went and got a a, a certain athletes that look like Nike athletes. Right. So I kind of I feel where you're coming from. That they did it with the Maryland with the Maryland uniform. Yeah, exactly. And all exactly. Of that. They, like, they, they get outrageous it, with the Maryland stuff. Yeah. It looks good on them. It looks right. like we're giving them a pat on the head. Like in a few years, you're gonna grow <laughs> into them clothes. Exactly. You know, so it's so. I'm saying it. it's. it's, it's oh. I, I know it feels like a backhanded compliment, and and like I said, I've been a fan of what they're doing. You can just tell it's not fitting them yet. They haven't found their own voice. They're they're rapping along with Nike's lyrics. Right. <laughs> oh wait, wait, wait. Are you are they Millie Vanilli in it? No. Oh, no. I wouldn't, I wouldn't no. Say that. Okay. I wouldn't say that. Because okay. here's the thing. Here's the thing about Millie Vanilli that I never understood. Somebody sang them damn songs. Them was hits. And, and, <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if it wasn't. I don't care if it wasn't the Dreadlock duo. Somebody sang them damn songs, man. They certainly did. <laughs> they certainly did. Oh but, man! Come on, I, that was the joint, bro. That's funny. Was. <laughs> that was that was but, that but was the very thing, good. But, and the, but the thing is, just like that, just like you know, this it's a it's a copycat with a compliment, and they're gonna grow into their own voice. But right now they're mimicking a champion, and that's cool. That's cool as long as they grow into their own voice. But they have to know it's going to leave us hanging a little bit, because like D said, they're going to that. They're going, you know, Nike's going fourteen to forty. Under Armour's going age demographic fourteen to twenty-five. They're stopping short of those people who really know about the substance of Nike. There you go. There you go. Give it to me. I'm sorry. I just couldn't help myself. Ridiculous. Hey, like I said, man, somebody sang the damn song. They certainly did. (laughs) Blame it on the rain, bro. I I, 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 I love how to say it. Hold on. Was that Blame It on the Rain? 1989. Blame it on the rain. Wow. I mean, come on. Classic. Wow. Come on now. I'm putting that on my Spotify list. Say something. Stop it. Uh oh. <laughs> get him. Get him. Get him. Woo! Yo, stop it. Shut the music off. What on. up? What stop up? <laughs> what up? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do like them fools do at the mall now. I'm going to pull that up on my Spotify list in Houston and I'm going to walk right next to paper <laughs> with it on blast on my phone. Oh, oh you can hear that? Oh. oh. You can. I was oh, surprised. That. All right, let me say this. I was surprised. <laughs> Yo, y'all are ruthless. Yep. Oh, that bo- that was, bother you? <laughs> I was surprised. <laughs> he said, that bother you? <laughs> I was surprised when I saw the Under Armour 39. I wasn't surprised that they're pushed to do the global launch thing and try to get more people paying attention to Under Armour overseas. I mean, once you've been out as long as they've been out, you do have to eventually try and reach across the ponds, the lakes, the whatever, to start trying to find a new customer base. Um, so that part I wasn't too, you know, look at them sideways about. I do have to see the ad as D stated. And, um, I mean, if you feel like that about it, I ain't putting it up on the site, just to be honest, if I agree. <laughs> uh, I'm not doing that. But, I mean, I mean, I agree with you, Piper. I like the global push. I definitely, and I, I'm not saying I dislike any of it. I just, I just see it for what it is right now. Yeah, well, I mean, because the story's so new, it's going to look that way. I mean, for for all intents and purposes, as far as the Under Armour 39 goes, I don't know if I can really only because I believe both do footwear, you know, in terms of Nike and and Under Armour, because both do footwear and both do, you know quote-unquote now this, you know, sport lifestyle type gadgets. Um, I think in that regard, they are kind of following in Nike's footsteps. But as far as this type of thing where you're getting people to pay attention to or be inspired to push themselves and stay active, neither one of these companies was first. So I I don't know if I really want to, you know, give Nike as much credit for being the trendsetter that they're perceived to be in this genre. You know what I mean? 
like we mentioned Jawbone and a couple other companies that have. Well, even even business. before that, Adidas Adidas Micro Pacer way back in the eighties. Back in the eighties, right? You know, so yeah. I don't know if I want to give as far as this the Under Armour Thirty Nine. I don't know if I want to give give it away to to Nike and say you guys just jumped on them like that. But they made it obvious that that was where they were going, charging one hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> And then making the watch retail for like two hundred dollars. So this this pricing system they have here for both their um, sport lifestyle gadgets, if that's the correct title segment, is that the correct segment I'm calling sport lifestyle now? I, I um, say that's that's decent. That's a decent title for it. To to price your gadgets the way you did just shows, you know, like like you said that you got on Big Brother's clothes. And yeah, you might be dancing around a bit. It just don't look as fluid right now. So I'm going to uh, honestly reach out to Under Armour and see if I can get an Under Armour 39 to test it head to head against Nike, since that's who they wanted to go for with this. Let's honestly, if you can get two, you know I'll put it to work fitness wise. Okay. Yeah, uh -huh. I will absolutely, and I will give it a fair shake. They have to. They. I, I'm a fan. I'm a fan, but I call it like it is. Steve, have you ever used anything like that? I mean, uh, what is your take on all the new gadgets compared to the ones you probably grew up using? Yeah, you know, I find them, uh, truthfully, in a workout sense, I find them horribly inaccurate when it comes to actual, like, figuring out the actual calorie burn. If you're going for a mall walk or a jog on the flat surface, Sure, your Nike fuel band is going to get it in while, you, while you're walking or doing that. But when I'm running vertical distance on stairs, when I'm doing plyometrics, when I'm doing box jumps and hops with my, with my track kids, you know, uh, I know what it's supposed to be doing is tracking movements. But um, I'd have to see a few more metrics on not just Nike's accelerometer, but all of them because the accelerometer is borrowed technology. So they're all using a similar thing. How how is that algorithm based to know the different movements that I'm doing? Because Nike, the the uh, fuel band, when they market that and when they sell that to you, they're saying all your movements. It's tracking everything you do. But I've personally, it's not been, right. I've personally like been close to my goal and just did this real quick and got my points up. You know, so I think it's like paper said. It's kudos for getting people involved, um, inspired, or motivated, better yet, to, to work out and have some kind of fitness. That's all it is. is it's, a, it's a measurable metric that you can look at and say, I've been moving around today. And so I right. think that, that does a great, it does a great job at that as a, a basic measurable metric. But yeah, um, and then, and then the you only got... way to really test is heart rate monitors. You got to mention, you know, for the kids, man, all the kids – you know, we used to we grew up playing outside, and kids these days they're you know sitting at home on an yeah. iPad or video game, and you know it's yep. a kind of way to integrate a video game into fitness. And and you know what, it works. I have fun with it. I check my app. My track kids and I are running, and at the end of practice, we light them up and see who got gold. So it is fun, and it does get you motivated. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. It it but for basically for what it is, like you said, to get you up and moving. I've I've been sitting at work doing graphic design and marketing all day, and I look down at my wrist, and I'm like, I can tell that I haven't been up and walking. I didn't take any breaks. I need to get my fuel points up. So, yeah, for the basics of it, that's true, but it's, uh, it's not unlike the running shoes. <clears throat> I wouldn't do a full workout in Nike Shocks. I'm going to run in my Adistars or my Supernovas. Right. You know, it, there, there's some gimmicky stuff, and then there's just some – some tried and true things that will never go out of style and will never get old. And right now, I just that's the way I see most of the workout stuff, unless it is a true heart rate monitor and you've spent spend that two hundred bucks on a polar watch and a and a heart rate monitor if you really want to see what kind of work you're doing. Other mm -hmm. than that, it, it's 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 fitness fun. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, because you know, I have to agree with you because I have days where I, I definitely see the inconsistency in 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 the fuel band because my my routine really hasn't changed much in years as far as my activity. I mean, 
I do the same amount of weight training, same amount of calisthenics, same amount of walking for the most part, unless it's just an extra busy day for me. Um, and I mean, this thing is real for me. This thing is really just more of a confirmation of what I do all the time. Yeah, it hasn't yeah. inspired me to do anything different than I do. Because right. I have my routine for right. my fitness and well-being already. So for me, in that regard, I'm more leaning towards the gimmicky aspect of it as opposed to somebody else who they needed this thing to come along and right. get them to do something. Well, I was I, already going to do this regardless. Yeah. And if you mix it up, like you said, it's a confirmation of what you've been doing. When I ride my bike, when the spring and summer hits, I'm on a mountain bike, and I mean rough and tumble mountain biking, not just trail, you know, flat trail riding. Uh, I grew up as a as a BMXer and a, and a racer, so I like getting on on single track and taking it in. And it won't track those movements. It, it, right. there's, the accelerometer is all it has. It doesn't have a GPS to tell you how far you rode, or an accelerometer and 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 a barometer that tells you what the pressure is, so you've gone up and down on sea level. Um, so here I am, I burned 3,000 calories in a hard bike workout, and my fuel band says I burned 125 fuel points, you know. Yeah. So there's or, some or, there's or, some or 420 calories. That's right. All. <laughs> right. So there's, there's, it doesn't track, it doesn't cross train very well, truthfully. So, I mean, I would honestly like to get the jawbone, I already have the fuel band, and, and the Fitbit. I want to try the Fitbit. The Fitbit, yes. The Fitbit and the new Under Armour 39. Mm -hmm. I would love to try them all out for a week. Yeah, head to head would be good. And then you know what? Try and and put that up against an old school. I call it old school now, which is so funny. But an old school Polar Watch. Mm -hmm. You know, where they they do they were the first in terms of mass marketed full line of heart rate monitor watches. You know, to get the workout in, it would be. How it'll do you be crazy think those are hanging in, Steve? Are those uh, hanging in there, or? Yeah. yeah, they're they're doing well because your your triathletes, your runners, like your really serious runners, they know, they know that the fuel band isn't really tracking all the things they're doing, vertical inclines, you know, average heart rate, and those things. Um, so yeah, your your hardcore runners, your hardcore fitness people. Uh, they're still on on their heart rate monitor watches. Well, let me ask you this: You think we'll see the polar heart rate monitors go the way of the BlackBerry? Uh, no, I think you'll see them go the way of the fuel band. I think <laughs> what I think what you'll do is if they can find a way to track the pulse on your arm the way they track your chest pulse, if they can be so sensitive, because like with your with your iPhone, you can hold your iPhone. Or 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 you, or any mobile device in your hand, they have heart rate monitors that you can now hold in your hand that are so sensitive that they can test your pulse just you holding it. So if they can get that technology in a watch, then mm -hmm. you're going to see the heart rate monitor become less cumbersome with the chest strap, and then you will see the polar range and and those other heart rate monitor watches actually come back into focus as the primary means of tracking your calorie output because if they can do it with a phone that you hold in your hand and and they've already started to come out with smartphone watches that link to your device I would have to say that the accelerometer is going to become sensitive enough to test your your wrist pulse versus your chest pulse and and uh, I say that that's the that's the way I would do it if I were them. So Polar, if you're watching, cut the check. Let's work on it. Stop giving away that money, kid. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Adidas. Adidas has a shirt, mm, some yeah. clothing that they built where they're building sensors into the clothing, yeah. as opposed to trying to wearing a device like on your wrist or on your chest. Yeah. And then if you look at the way Nike tried to present some of the fuel um, interaction with their phone. So that wrist, that armband, you seen the forearm band when they, when they first came out with the game, they're like, you can connect like this in the video. Homeboy has a sleeve on yeah. that you hold your phone in. Yeah. So the conversations behind closed doors are definitely going to something that skin tight that you can feel that you can do from the wrist. That's the next yeah. breaker. That's yeah. the only thing that'll do it. Polar has yep. tried it. Everyone's tried it, but the accuracy from the wrist is really, really hard. So that's yeah. why Polar bit the bucket, and they were like, "Well, remember Nike put Nike Plus in a couple treadmills at some gyms, 
Yeah. So people can go out and buy a, a heart rate monitor, a polar heart rate monitor that'll connect mm -hmm. to their Nike Plus, but Actually, no one's been I've able to get it, it off the chest. I've also seen it where the uh, like you like you're saying, the the polar stuff is integrated in a few treadmill brands. It's like you have the Nike Plus in some, and then even when you don't have the heart rate monitor, they've they've used Polar's name and licensed their technology. So you have the safety strap that you put on your finger while you're running. If you you know if you fly off the treadmill, it pulls the stop button. So, but that's branded as Polar. And so yeah, what, exactly what you're saying there. They've they've diversified the use of their sensitivity technology. Um, I'm 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 interested to see. Because, like you said, it's hard to get on the wrist, but the way that that accelerometer has pushed things and 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 to the sensitivity level, you've got to think that they can get it from another point in the body. Like again, a little clip that you put on your finger, you know, that's how they do the heart rate monitors on bikes and treadmills now. That's why I'm thinking if you can get a glove, or if you can get like a, a wristband that's going to stay tight no matter how much you sweat, no matter how much you move. If you can get something that's going to stay skin tight during your entire workout, then you can probably get something accurate. But it's hard to get a watch or a bracelet to have right. stay skin tight. That's why they built, you know, uh -huh. heart rate monitors. The straps are so tight because they're supposed to stay connected to your chest. Right. So the actual connectors on a heart rate monitor are right underneath underneath the breastbone. It's not yeah. that piece in the middle. Everybody sees a piece in the middle, and they're like, yeah. oh, that's where all the technology is. That's no, that movie just, shit. It's yeah. Just a, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's you know, so if you, you look at what Under Armour's doing, they're just trying to catch everybody with like, oh, look at the middle of my chest. You can be Superman when you put yeah. this on. Dun, 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 dun. You, know, you know, anybody that's like, <laughs> like ridiculous, said, anybody that's trying oh, to man. really get numbers, I ain't gonna be using no thirty nine. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but how about Dwight Howard's uh, new clothing? Have you guys heard about that? He's got a new posture realignment shirt. He's wearing for that shoulder. They yeah, I heard about that. that he's the, wearing uh, during the games. Yeah. Yeah, it's got like uh, what 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 would you even call that? Like the ribbing in the shirt that realigns the, the posture. The XO, yeah, that yeah. It, it, the Adidas is it through Adidas that he's done that? Yeah, it's an Adidas shirt. The um, Adidas has that had to be approved by the NBA for him to wear. Yeah, they they call it the Tech Fit. <laughs> the Adidas has an exoskeleton. Um, I can tell you that that stuff works. It is it is restricting. Um, the overlays are really, really tough, and I've actually run and competed in a pair of the uh, the Tech Fit stuff. Um, but I don't know about realigning posture. It helps muscles a bit. It does. Uh, it actually does help uh, from from my experience. But I don't know about the whole realignment and you know. Well, what injury, they were saying, you know what they were saying, it does is it is keeping his shoulders and his posture, you know as true to form as possible while he's still playing so mm. that he doesn't risk throwing that shoulder out with that torn label. If it were truly doing that, homie couldn't breathe. As It would have to be so restrictive that he literally couldn't move. It would have to be almost like a cast to be reconstructed. <laughs> and that's not that's not going to happen. Um, you, know, you know what it's there's, like? Um, that no that shirt that give you heart. That, you know, <laughs> wow. Yeah. Um, you know the exo tape that they've been using. You see them certain yeah. athletes K wearing. Tape. That's what it's supposed to be doing, but it's not. It can't get that tight. It's clothing. Right. So hmm. really, I see it being mo mostly for show and, like you said, a little boost to his confidence. But that ain't happening. So, th so you're saying that that's a Kobe play hurt shirt? Kobe play hurt shirt for show. <laughs> <laughs> you know Kobe's in the locker room like, why don't you take that shit off and join the night team? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Remember when Kobe was talking shit when all the crazy light stuff came out? He was like, you will mess around and break your whole foot off with that shit. <laughs> yep. I remember that. <laughs> oh man. But hey It's crazy. Derrick Rose been hurt ever since Kobe said that shit. Yeah. And 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 our good friend, uh, well, not our good friend, but the, the homie Jason Petrie jumped all out the window talking crap about it too. Is he Shout still off Nick Twitter from, because of that? What'd you say? Is he still off Twitter because of that? I haven't bothered to look, but he's been very quiet since that episode. <laughs> very quiet. I mean, 
You can't be jumping out the window thinking that your brand has such a superior, superior product that no one's going to ever get injured wearing your stuff. Hmm. I mean, look at Steph Curry. You know? So. Yep. Remains to be seen. Stay tuned. But, um, yeah, I would love, you know, again, just to sum the conversation up again and we can f circle back around on this. I would love to be able to, you know, get the bit fit, the jawbone, the fuel band, the Under Armour 39, and anybody else of comparable measure, um, and test them all for a week. You know, any of us that has a normal routine, a normal fitness routine, and just rock on for a week, and you then just the swap. Contacts. Let me know. Swap. I'm in the middle of half marathon training now. Marathon's track, not yeah. until April, so, you know, I'm always down for a challenge. Track, you, track you know, get somebody, I'll be up. like, yo, I got four fresh bodies ready to go. Yeah, track you season know. starts up in about a week and a half, so, and, and I do most of the, the preseason workouts with my kids, so we'll put it through his paces. For sure. So, Under Armour, Ty Foster, what up, Pip? Um, Nike, we already have been programmed. Um, <laughs> Jawbone. And BitFit, what's it called? It's BitFit? Uh, the Fitbit. Fitbit. Y'all watch OSD, or you know somebody that watch OSD? We're here. Holler at us. Let's take the challenge. Let's let's do the Pepsi challenge. <laughs> <laughs> um, we guarantee we will not MSU you. <laughs> yeah, no MSU. Yeah. Leave that. Yeah, we don't MSU. <laughs> Word. All right, so where are we going to go next, D. Wells? We're going to talk a little bit of shoes. Yeah, let's talk some sneakers, man. Speaking of Adidas, let's just go ahead. My Adidas. Let's just get right in it with the shoes. And now, Adidas has unveiled their energy running and boost technology. I'm not going to say anything on this until you guys <laughs> all wait. <laughs> no, 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 no. See? You got to go first. You got to go first. I can't because I, I know a little bit too much. Well, you know what? I can't. These shits, okay, I'll say it this way. I saw the video. I saw the sneakers. The shit looks like styrofoam. I have to try a pair now. <laughs> the shit looks like styrofoam. <laughs> it looks like styrofoam. I mean, I mean the video looks like styrofoam. I mean, I looked at it. I was like, wait a minute. Oh, with some recycled styrofoam there that they they try okay. to sell me. I'm, I'm glad you said that. Glad you said that. That's Just, what it looks like. Y'all all go ahead. Everybody have their fun with this. Go ahead. Y'all know I'm a, y know I'm an Adidas head when it comes to my tech running, and I'm skeptical. I gotta I gotta I gotta see it because I'm the same way. But I'm I'm like D. It looks like styrofoam, but then when they did that, when I pushed the YouTube vid and they did that little test with the barrel. The, the, ball? the, the balls, looked, yeah. It, it looked like CGI. It looked, it didn't look real. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, so, so I'm like, wow. I'm like, that don't look real, bro. Exactly. And, I, and, and, and here's the thing, I've I'm plugged in with uh, uh there's a there's a, a a retailer through the Midwest called Shields. Yeah. I'm yep. plugged in with those guys pretty tough, and I actually saw a demonstration of of they did a ball drop with um the Adaprene and the Adaprene Plus to show the difference between shock absorption and rebound. And they dropped it from the upper deck upper deck onto a pad of the stuff and we watched it. It was good. It was good. Um this looked like CGI. <laughs> so I uh I, I'm I'm willing to test the pair out. I want to test the light blue pair and see what those are all about. The the I like all right, paper. Color. Don't leave us hanging. What, what's, what's, the, what's the latest and greatest? All right. Um, without me saying too much, and I'm really not going to say too much, you said this looks like styrofoam, right, Dave? Yeah. looks like styrofoam. Um, what it looks like styrofoam to you? The midsole. The midsole. It looks like styrofoam. Ridiculous. You, when, when you saw did you think of anything else? Man. Hold on, I'm getting a good look right now. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me good look. When I when I did, I looked at it, and that's the first thing I thought. I thought for sure styrofoam. I thought a little bit of that. Why? Why does it look like styrofoam? Is it the texture? Is it the feel? Or or you know what? It looked like like milk when you blow bubbles in it. 
You're all getting close. No, no, no. Okay. This is what I saw Kadoma when I when I looked at the the the, the video. Is it track pellets? And, paper? and before I even got, <laughs> I got the email from Adidas saying to go and check out their new boost sneakers. They actually show pictures of the material and just on quick glance and then I looked it even closer it looked like styrofoam that's what it, it looks like me... melted pellets yeah, it, it, that's what it made me think of and then I was like okay it looks like packing peanuts that got melted together that's what you said uh, ridiculous yeah so. now I for the record I like how the shoe looks very good looking shoe of course when you tack anything on with energy and, and boost and all that kind of stuff we're all like alright now <laughs> I, you know how we are, but um, I heard just just a little bit of intel for everyone listening that the inspiration for this latest wave of technology, in terms of energy run energy and boost, mm -hmm. was inspired by marshmallows. <laughs> yeah. Marshmallows. Well, now, look, now look back at the midsole. It looks like marshmallows packed into a jar. Yep. There you go. So, so you know what that means then. This sneaker is not made for long term running. It's it it's a be. it's a short term running sneaker. It would have to be because even on the premise of marshmallows, that means it's some kind of compression molded EVA exactly. or packed EVA, and it's I mean, going to depress. We, I mean, this is way. this is a tough one to try to run by this group because we've been doing this for a long time. I mean, I've. I've been in stores where I'm like, yeah, EVA midsole is kind of like a marshmallow, or I've used angel cake. Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> this, right. this is nothing really new. No. no, it's not. No. But but the intel I received was this was inspired by the basic, you know, marshmallow. How a marshmallow okay. reacts to being squeezed and the return. And okay, so then I have to go and look at the price, and I I bet. I bet this sneaker it's, retails for more than eighty dollars. Oh, this this is going to retail uh, just above the hundred mark. I guarantee you, it'll retail at one twenty-five. That's usually where they bring in all of their new technology. Nothing will supplant their Added Star line. So the the Added Star line is around one forty, one forty-five. The Supernova line is at about one twenty, one thirty, and then the uh, the Response line is right at ninety. This with new technology. Will come especially in if in, in that picture that paper showing. It looks like they've got their Adidas, you know, my Adidas plug-in mm -hmm. for a spot for that. This mm -hmm. shoe will be one. This shoe will be right in the one twenty range. Now, you know now, what? Now. Uh, you know what I want to say is when we were growing up and the latest shoe that came out offered the latest technology, the price went up, and it's because the materials and the technology were worth it. But or, or now, at least, we, or at least or we thought so. No, I I really do think so. I mean, okay. when you go from a airbag in the heel to a a zoom forefoot or a full length airbag, of course you're willing to pay more because okay, that's going to cost more to produce. But these days, brands are using new technology for cheaper materials. Right. It's lightweight, and know? it's less expensive, and the price is still going up. Yeah. <laughs> so I I'm looking at it really. I really. I'm don't. looking at the video right now. You see what I mean? I mean, there's pieces of it. If you look at the video again, this kind of goes back. We were talking about last week where Adidas misses the mark. They talk about storing energy, energy release, and they also talk about a piece of the technology that says. Um, it reacts to different temperatures you're in. If you want to put out a new shoe, especially with what's going on with the climate, you talk about that it's durable in all temperatures, and you might get some heat. Don't show me styrofoam and tell me it's like marshmallows. Exactly. Or hey, you, you want to say why they say that though? Well, and here's like, the. I can't believe I can't believe they got through the winter selling like uh, fly knits and climacles and uh, D. I know they're not wearing that shit up there. Oh hell no! Like record what? snow. <laughs> exactly. I but, mean, but you no, also got to see no where runner, is there is there any uh, winter runners right now? Adidas has a winter running line. They've got they've got Gore-Tex lace shoes. They've got, so I said Adidas, they've got Adidas and New Balance. New Balance has a nice line too. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they but, but Kadoma, you gotta see the you gotta see the market you're in. Not not that you don't keep a global eye. I know you do. But being in a warm weather climate, you're seeing a lot of those shoes up here. We did get the snow runners and the boots. No, and, no, I'm not saying that I see them, but they are still pushing that fly knit, that mesh, that uh, roche run like yeah. the shoes. Like, and and it's freezing outside. Are you kidding roche. me? Yeah, we see that, Jesse. So, 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 Kadoma, I'm up here in, 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 in the X, up here in PDX. It's not freezing cold, but it rains, and it does all that extra stuff, and I'm really getting back into, you know, my key materials. This is an Adidas Climb a Warm running shoe that I got from the Adidas employee store because I need to have some Adidas when I work with them. Mm -hmm. um, the inside of the shoe is one piece, and it's got their kind of like hyper-warm stuff, so it's supposed to keep the foot warm, but the outside of the shoe, if you can look like right here, that's all like mesh netting. And then the top of it right here is like a um, it's like a ripstop resistant nylon. Okay. So the only thing about it is it's warm, but it's not, you know, it's not going to keep anything dry, which doesn't make too much sense up here. But huh. they do have a line. But again, like you said, you don't know this stuff unless you can go to a shoe and look at it and be like, okay, these are the proper materials for weather shoe. That they didn't market this. Good. They don't that, tell nobody about this. That, you know? Yeah, that, that, that shoe looks good. Um, my, I guess my question is the marketing. That's the reason why. We, I mean, down in Atlanta, you know, I don't deal with half the shit y'all deal with, but I do know about it mainly because I go looking for it. You know, they used to be one of my favorite uh, Adidas was the – the cross train, no, not the cross train, the uh, the trail running Adidas, and usually those come up come along the lines, you know, the long along the same time time frame and in, in, in along the lines of the uh, the winter running shoes. So, mm -hmm. you know, I, I come across it, and usually you have to go to their site or um, like a, a East Bay, you know, places like that to find it. You're not gonna find ads for, it. you know, you're definitely not gonna find no boutique. We know that. Um, but you know they're out there. You just have to look for them. Same thing with New Balance. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure if we look hard enough, we can find some stuff from from everybody from Asics. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Here was what I like about Adidas to Hardpoint Heat's point. Adidas puts the freshest shit on their site and says nothing. They yeah. have a lot of dope shit. They got a lot of good shit. Yeah. <laughs> and you just have to faithfully know to go there and look. Yeah. Got to put in your rotation. You have to be selective about what you get from them. You have to get what you want. You can't get what you think is hot. You got to get what you personally right. be like. You know what? This right. shoe speaks to me, so right. I'm gonna get it on my rocket. Well, that, right. that's that's in all shoes, but yeah. oh yeah, you're right. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of these shoes, I mean, I look for what I like. You know, I learned a long time ago. I can't I can't be Kadomo. I can't be D. You know, I got to be the best me I can be. You know what I'm saying? And, and that goes for just me picking out what the hell I like. That's the case. You should just be wearing Gator shoes then, Pippin. Gator. <laughs> hey, I, hey, sometimes I do wish I wore damn 10 and a half or 12 or something. <laughs> I ain't going to front. <laughs> but see, what, what Je to Jesse's point, yeah, like Adistar Salvation used to be the Adistar Control all day long. All mm. day long, like clockwork. Just picked up a new pair for Christmas, getting it in. So, I mean, you do. Adidas is the kind where you have to explore what it is that works for you. Similar to an Asics, on their tech side, Adidas really does show that pedigree, like we talked last week, that they are one of the first and premier tech running outfits that, that were ever in the world. Um, so they do have that pedigree of everybody who runs in ASICs could tell you their favorite Keanu and the number or their favorite Nimbus and the number. Um, everyone who runs in a Mizuno could tell you their favorite Mizuno and why they hate it when wave technology came in, you know. Hey, for instance, me, like, I, you know, run, I, I, when it comes to Ryan shoes, I love ASICs. And the GT used to be, it, it used to be my favorite. But yeah. the GT is known as, or it used to be known as their lightest weight shoe, and it yeah. had a lot of mesh on it. Yep. And I would run and train in it uh, all year round. But I'm telling you, when it got to be those winter months, I wasn't wearing that GT anymore because yeah. there's too much mesh on that. Yeah, and it's I, cold. I, I wore the GT. <laughs> I wore the GT models too when it came for uh, for most of our track workouts. But it also because it was light, it had the thin midsole. 
I couldn't get plyometrics and box jumps and all of that in. I had to switch to a heavier duty model to be able to carry my frame over. So what did you switch to? I, that's when I switched up to uh, either I went up to the Kayano because at the time it had the larger gel, the wider foot for more surface area and more impact resistance versus the lightweight of the GT 1080s and, and that sort of thing. Um, uh, so see, that's I where switched, I switched up. I switched to the Nimbus. See, the Nimbus, the first model of the new redesigned Nimbus, uh, I think it was the Nimbus 8, I could feel the, the ball of my foot went numb because I could feel the ground underneath. No That's because you didn't have no marshmallows in your shoes. I didn't have no marshmallows, son, with mad surface area. <laughs> That's because you didn't have no marshmallows. <laughs> so we got, we got a comment from, from uh, someone up on Twitter. He's, he's loving the sound effects, gang. Yeah, who's doing? Who's at the button on the fart noise? Is that you, Kadoma? No, that was know. me. That was me. <laughs> that was me on the on, with the air horn type effects. <laughs> that that was definitely me. I got I got them noises figured out. Now I just fire them off to be like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, turbo <perfect> button. <laughs> <laughs> as close to an air horn as we gonna get. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow! Oh, man. Oh, so shout man. out, man. We appreciate you watching the show. Thank you. I'm not even gonna begin to try and say your name because I can't. <laughs> he's a, he's the Korean man. <laughs> yeah, you you can try and say that all day. The Korean. That's I'm good. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shout out to Miles Coltrane too. Yep. Shout out to the fake group. Fly ass kicks every day. What's up? Oh man. So all right. So so next up. So 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 before we move on, so we now that we've heard and like I said, I've heard unofficially that the inspiration was um based on marshmallows um for the new Adidas shoe. But um have, having heard that and put that out now, um, I think people will be curious to try them on now and see. But um, just don't try and go camping and then think you're going to be able to eat your midsole. It's not really going to go down. I might use it to pack a box. Yeah. <laughs> Word. Put it on my lucky charms. So what else do we have in effect while we're on shoes? Is, is, it, time for us to, is it time for us to stunt, Kadoma? I don't know. I might as well. Time for, us to, time for us to stunt 101. I mute myself. <laughs> <laughs> he said he's muting himself. He has had it. So, for those who are interested, the H Town Sneaker Summit has a death defying new wrinkle this year in tandem with the NBA All Star game coming to town. And it is. Two dope shoes from Supra that make up the Trill All Star Pack. Yeah, Trill Star. The <laughs> Trill Stars. Yeah. You need so, to be cheering right now, Kadoma. You need to be all up in this. This is you, right? That is yeah. awesome. So, so, congrats, homie. Hey, thanks, man. The shoe representing the East is the S1W. And the shoe representing the West is the TK Stacks. Ah, they put they put Stevie up against uh, oh boy, huh? Yeah, I like that. Stevie Williams shoe is nasty, boy. That's what's well. Up. How, how this all came about is, um, you know, Bun's good friends with both of those guys. He's done projects with DGK, uh, Stevie Skate Brand before. And then he's done uh, the Gumball 3000 with uh, Terry Kennedy. So, I don't know. Um, Stevie had a shoe come out early last year. And, uh, you know, he's friends with Bun and uh, Bun's right-hand man, Truck. And we've been trying to get Stevie down to the Sneaker Summit for a long time and really tried hard when his shoe was going to debut. Thought it would be the perfect time and... He just couldn't make it happen, and I guess he saw what happened at the uh, past couple of events and felt that, you know, kind of really missed out. So 
he wanted to kind of make up for it and do a shoe. And I don't know, being that it was All Star Weekend, and uh, man, it it just all came together. It was uh pretty crazy. But we, you know, got uh TKs involved, and originally Super brought out the uh, TK Society, which is the the sky top with the two straps, and right. you know, I was kind of like, no, we can't do two high tops. You know, we got to do a high top and a low top because. That's what we try to do at the summit is have something for everyone, you know, skate shoes, basketball shoes, running shoes, like it's it's all there no matter what you're into. So we decided we were gonna do the S one W and the stacks and then be an all star weekend, you know, East versus West. Uh Stevie's from the East Coast, TK's from the West Coast. Absolutely. You know, all the all the East Coast us uh, Skaters are known for wearing high tops back in the day. All the West Coast skaters are known for wearing low tops. It's, it's like two different lifestyles. I love then, these you know, we, Yeah, we kind of got the, the NBA theme involved, you know, the, the colors of the jerseys, the blue and silver versus the red and gold. And that and, stacks. Uh, that The stacks is – did you do a custom, you know, front mud, that, that toe guard? Because the, that the was cap- all uh, Josh. Okay, because the catalog stacks are, are smooth tops. Yeah, the catalog stacks yeah. they have like a. Uh, let me see if I can. Yeah, I just put my it. I just put my order in my boutique order in for Supra. So, those you picked they're too hot. I mean, they yeah. offered up their two hottest shoes. So I know that the toe cap is like one piece on the stacks usually. But yeah. Josh, the lead designer over there. He was to Josh Brew Brew Baker too. Yeah. Brubaker. He was all kind of into doing this unique kind of like basketball court shoe type mm-hmm. thing. And it, you know, I was like, man, is that gonna work? You know, because to me, I mean, uh, I told them what was important to me. I'm like, okay, they're skate shoes, so they gotta be skatable. You know, I want I want them to appeal to the sneakerhead, but I also want a skateboarder to be able to pick these up and know, like, hey man, I can skate these. So, you know, I told them put the suede on the toe so it flicks good on the grip tape. You know, right here on the on the Ollie guard is leather, so it's a little more durable. You know, just little things like that. Um, I wasn't shoe, quite man. sure how the toe box w- worked out, but Josh really liked it. He wanted to stick with it. And yeah, I like I'm kind of glad. I'm kind of glad we did because it kind of pays homage to the basketball a little bit. I more. was I was just about to say also, and this is meant to be a compliment. It it, it puts it in the realm of a of a better looking dunk to me. You know, yeah. it, it's, it's got that familiar toe cap that would draw people in, but allow them to switch brands up and, and try something new. Yeah. Some good look. You know, it's better than a dunk because <laughs> I'm telling you right now, I'm just. Where did you come up with the soul? I never seen uh, no soul well, like that. I mean, we wanted it to appeal to the sneakerheads, and I guess you know, icy soul is just—I mean, it's they call it cloudy rubber, but it's the ice bottom, and that kind of appeals to you know the sneakerheads. So <laughs> I love the that way they that call the, it cloudy. <laughs> the yeah. way that the red and the blue run into the soul. So if you look at it, you can still see the color of the shoe. That's that's dope. Yeah. That's, that's, uh, well, I'm, you I'm know what? That. You know what hasn't been done? That's technically a clear cup so. I don't think that's there's what, been exactly, a clear cup Exactly, that's what I'm soul. looking at. I'm like the whole thing is clear. Yeah, there's there's I don't think there's been a clear cup so. I that's think I've it. seen an Adidas with a clear cup so. Yeah, Adidas had did it as part of one of the shoes I believe from the Star Wars collection okay. like 18 okay. times ago. Okay. But you know, then Bun put his stamp on it the uh custom tongue tag says Trill Kennedy. The S one W says uh, Stevie Trilliams. Um, I, I don't know if you can see it, but I used like a kind of like a running shoe, athletic mesh on here, and then kicked it off with the hiking laces, the uh, red with gold shoe. sparkles. You are you killing and me then, with the uh, hiking laces? Yeah, you are killing me, dog. You are really killing me. Has the S one W has the blue with the silver. Mm. Hey, hey, you're supposed to let me stunt that. You're yeah. supposed to let me stunt that. Yeah. But, um, you know. I need, I need in a pair of these. And then, of course, I mean, uh, real. can I get a uh, shift out? What's up? <laughs> yeah. Of course, you know, then we had to do the, 
the insoles to the west and the east. <laughs> that's yeah. that's hey props, man. That's a solid yeah. package. That is but very. But man, I mean, good. you know, we had some good minds involved. Of course, Matt. You know, he's kind of like an A Life OG, and now he's over at Super doing good things with that brand. Yep. Shout out to Chris course, Vidal. Yeah, of course, Josh is a. I mean, man, that guy is a phenomenal designer. Um, you know, it may not be your cup of tea, but I, you know, I told him, man, you design, you know, the sky top, that's a monumental shoe in the lineage of sneakers. You see that shoe, you think of a specific time in sneaker culture. Um, not many people can say they've designed a shoe like that. Um, I have like the highest respect for that guy. Honestly, man. I give him props because that shoe alone was getting sneaker heads into clubs, man. Like when when the stars started wearing sky tops on red carpets, then bouncers started letting people in the clubs with them sneakers. It's yeah. just true. So well, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop letting niggas in until they make fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> but all all together, man, it was a good project. And there's 144 pairs of each shoe. Where would they be um, sold at? They're all individually numbered. So. Um, uh. Out of curiosity, how big do they go up? Man, I, I couldn't tell you. He, I didn't get into that part, and I, I kind of wish I should have, and I would have in hindsight. But you know, being that it's such a limited run, I just kind of let them do what they uh, knew how to do best. And when I found out how limited they were, I, I so knew. you got it like that, huh? Hey, paper? Hey, got like that, huh? Paper? Hey, heat. <laughs> heat, you see me? <laughs> 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 but um hey you see you me <laughs> so okay, rock, paper, you, hey you forget you forget i will see you in about 48 yeah. hours yeah. Rock, rock paper scissors you want to see my number come my number. on y'all tripping oh you never uh, come on number 32 Gosh. man see i'm a i'm a stevie williams fan but i like those stacks so i'm torn between the two yeah, they're both nice shoes, man, and we'll have under a hundred of them. And, and, and they come with the, with the wax laces. Yeah, the you know we threw the extra laces in there, the wax right. laces. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm willing to. What's the price where, point? Where they going? Are you selling them at the summit, right? There's a hundred pairs available at the summit, and then there's another uh, few pairs that were sent out to some select shops. I think Nice Kicks in Austin. Mm -hmm. uh, Sean, you're gonna have to help me with that. Uh yes, I'll I'll put that up in a second and share the rest of that information. I'm just I'm just stunned right now. Right, he, <laughs> he's really he's really trying to get beat down when I see him for real though. That's okay. I just I just grab one of your cigars and threaten to break it. You'll chill out. Guess what? <laughs> you don't have to break it because I'm gonna whoop your ass. <laughs> you got? But, I'm really getting pissed over here for real. Like I'm about to I'm about to mute myself and put up a. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, I put up the thing and shit. I'm a nigga. Oh, I'm no. getting real pissed off right now. Stevie Williams will be in attendance, you know, doing a signing, autographing boxes or shoes, whatever you like. Hey, and, he he considers a sacrifice, man. I can wear them for you, B. That's not the same, goddamn. That's how much I love you, man. I'm going to wear these for you so that nah. you don't have to. You know what? You're going to have me grab. I'm going to grab Kennedy and damn Stevie, both of them. <laughs> What's the price point, Kadoma? Can you buy, uh, man, I, buy them I, separate or do you buy them together? I told him to keep it pretty friendly, and, you know, we had discussions about that. You want to buy them separate or you want to buy them together or, you know, I, I don't know what's going to happen, man, but I'm not expecting them to last long, and hopefully that's a good thing because, you know, hopefully that means this isn't the last one we put out. So Okay, so, so we, need, need... we need Sean to tell all the stores so people that can't make it to the summit – know who to harass about getting these. Absolutely. Um, Austin, you got nice kicks. Shout out to Matt, George, Peter, all them folks in Austin, Texas. Nice kicks. What's good, y'all? They gonna have them. Chicago, they will be at Uprise. Los Angeles, they will be at Factory 413. Shout out to them. In New York, they will be at the Super NYC store in Soho. Shout out Chris Fidel and the good folks over there. And Seattle, they will be at a shop called Alive and Well. So, I, and based on the intel I see here, I don't see any price point info. 
I might have to see that. Deeper. But I mean, historically speaking, both of these models they hover around between eighty and a hundred dollars. Is that safe to say? Yeah, I retail. Think that's pretty safe to say. Yeah. So I mean, you're getting a lot of dope shoe for that money, for this to be at that same price point. So yeah, absolutely. Good work. Shout out to the true high. OG Bun B though, for real. Yeah. I was, I, we we definitely gonna make sure we talk to him at the summit so that we can get his take on this for the OSD faithful too. So, and I want to mention Josh old uh, Brewbreaker will be there, and you know you can pick his brain about all the shoes. Oh, word! Josh designed. gonna be in the house. Yeah, nice. You can pick nice. his brain about all the shoes he's designed and all the crazy color ups and materials super shoes. Yeah, over I, the years. I definitely need to have a talk with him. Nice. <laughs> I already told him. I already told him when we interviewed him, man. I, them Cubans, they got to bring that back. I need them Cubans for the dress up. Yeah. Huh. Between between these and the Owen, I'm I'm at my limit, dog. Yeah, you are gonna need to pull 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 Josh to the side and and, and holler at him, <laughs> tell him to get somebody to extend the sizes for the Owen. Yeah, I about to say, I'll I'll give him my personal account and shit. I'm like I'm I'm really upset about this. I mean, in all seriousness, whoever hasn't tried the Super Owen yet, you're that missing Owen out. Owen sick. You're missing out. Sick. Just the basic Owen. You don't have to be no collaboration, nothing. Right, right. That's, that's, that's yeah. pretty big coming from this group. Missing out, huh? You're missing yeah. out. Get the black one. Get the black one. It's, it's the joint. Yo, I have already completely destroyed two pairs of Owens. Completely. That's how how often I've worn them. Like, I'm like, yeah, yeah, these, yeah. I can't Don't you love that though? Like when you fall in love with the shoe, and I mean, especially people like us that have like dozens and dozens of pairs of shoes, but then you just buy that one that you can't stop wearing for some reason. And that was mm -hmm. the Owen for me last year. That was the Owen. I ran through literally like to the point where I had to get rid of them. Two pairs. They're only forty five dollars. Is that true? Nah, that's all sale. sale. They on sale. They they retail uh, what sixty sixty five sixty about sixty five about sixty five. I see a nice black and yellow one here for seventy two. Get that yeah. shoe, get that shoe. Don't play. Get that shoe. Ridiculous. The fact that I know it and they don't make my size. That ought to tell you. I was about to say I was just, like I, said, I was just in the catalog a couple of weeks ago. So the fact that you know that and and they oh. don't even have your size, you love that shoe. Man, I'm telling you, man, that like I said, that shoe, and I got a bone to pick with uh with uh, Asics as well on on a lot of this shit. <laughs> man, they missing out on a lot of bread. So I got one on Karma Loop. I might grab one on there. Yeah, the Supra Owen is a uh, go to that site, man. Go to go to Supra site. They have so many colorways. Yeah, super, super, they they do they don't do like a lot of brands and won't put the colorways up on the yeah. main site. They put they up. Put they put up the everything. Go to that. They yeah, actually yeah. have a really good site, man. Unlike a lot of these these uh, companies and their their site sucks. That usually their their home site sucks. Their site is pretty dope, and they have everything on there. Like they they actually put everything up. Yeah. So Miles Coltrane, shout out to Miles Coltrane. Says what he up, loves both on Twitter. Miles, that man, dog. F five to refresh dot com. Yeah, that that boy that bad. And, and and Mr. Everyday Life, he also says, must cop that red low, two trill. Y'all need to remember to use that hashtag OG Snigger Talk so we can get that posted up for the viewers to watch while we're on the show. Okay. Um, so, Kadoma, man, you did it, B. You, you well did your first one right, homie. Hey, man, I'm, I'm just congrats, glad. Congrats, man. Congrats, homie. I'm glad that, uh, you know, it was a skate. My, the first shoe I had a little hand in was a skate shoe because... I mean, that's what got me into sneakers back in the day, and I kind of said it in the uh, interview there, is, you know, I grew up having two pairs of shoes. I had a, a pair of skate shoes to beat the hell out of, and then I had another pair of, you know, chill shoes. I mean, back in the day, you couldn't pick up any girls wearing a pair of uh, DCs or, <laughs> nah, you know, nah, no, nah, man, that looked like straight Payless. Like, what's that <laughs> one, though? You know? And, and, and look who work. decided to step in. My long-lost brother from Austin, T. Oh, wow. Mr. Nice Kicks, man. Wow. What's good, man? 
Unmute yourself up top, Pippin. Up top, up top. Up top, unmute. <laughs> top right. Hey, man, say excuse me when you burping, oh, man. There you go. Oh, there he yeah. go. Say excuse me when you burp, man. <laughs> What's good? Good. good. Oh man, it's been too long. It's too long, man. I I haven't joined the I haven't joined the show since uh, you guys moved to the hangout. This this is awesome. This is awesome. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We're glad you're finally here with us, man. How you feeling? Good, man. I I cannot complain. I cannot complain. About to All Stars about to go down. I yes, see sir. You there, Kadoma. So, yeah. Uh, and I know there's some stress too, but uh, no, it's it's all good. It's all good. I we're, I'm we're really excited for it. It's Texas's time to shine once again. Absolutely. Uh, look, looks like you're at the crib there. No, I'm actually at the warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, have a come on. You know the you know the crib's that packed with shoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, his wife pretty tight right now. <laughs> <laughs> she was got to go, Matt. Don't you have a store? <laughs> Looks like Bob's house. Oh, man. So, Matt. Hmm. My man, Matt, listen. You coming down, H-Town Snigger Summit. Are you going to have that bomb-ass truck there? Man, Why? What, what would I do with that thing? Just park it in Austin and not bring it down? Hmm. All right. Man, if it wasn't for Houston... I wouldn't have the inspiration for the candy on the bottom of the truck. This is what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? So, but of course I gotta give love to Callie for the 13 inch. <laughs> you know, that, that's true for California. Yeah, absolutely. That's for real, for real. Yeah. So, we 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 spoke to Kadoma about his super collaboration, and you know, of course, you're one of the shops that's going to be retailing that shoe when it drops. Um, just throw a little bit more intel out there for people because the buzz is crazy and people like it. Oh yeah, no, no doubt, no doubt. Actually, we're not going to be having those shoes up at the shop. That was a, that, I think that was a misprint in the in the press release. Okay. But yo, I saw them today. I can't tell you how happy I was for Kadoma when I saw that logo on that hang tag on that shoe. When I saw that all red one, I got the all reds because it was only three years ago. It was three years ago, I think, that I unveiled our first collab at the H Town Sneaker Summit back at what was that place called? The Meridian. Yeah, yeah. Meridian. Meridian. Yep. Yeah. So it was like everything came full circle. Wow, and ours is all red too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Best color. Hang on, wow. I'm gonna go get a special guest uh, for y'all. Uh, I'll be right back. Uh oh. Oh He's wow. Getting ready, getting ready to do something. Matt's getting ready to go do something to us. <gasps> Look at that. You know he's in Texas. Look, Kadoma, you and Matt probably sitting in leather chairs. You see that? Look, leather <laughs> chairs. You, you see Matt's room? Doesn't that look like Quab's house? <laughs> <laughs> probably going to bring Quab out the closet. I know. I, I kidnapped your stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that didn't really sound right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> just, I just saying, realized. though, please. <laughs> oh, <laughs> only, only you. <laughs> I just realized that one. Oh, I'm just saying, dog. I, mean, I realized that I was gonna let it go. I, I got a, I got a point. You saying I'm not gonna let it go. I'm not that dude. Uh, <laughs> oh man. So we 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 got to Kadoma's collaboration again, we, which we again super excited about, man. Definitely, man, definitely. Man, Matt just took one store off the list, so now you're even more hard pressed. You got to go uh, to uh, Seattle. Chicago, New York, or Los Angeles. Yo, no shout out to Seattle for coming up. No doubt. Yeah, that's, they got that's a, basketball. That's a big alive, thing for alive, them. Alive and well. Yeah, that's a that's a big that's a big deal for them. What up, C Three hours might have to hit the road. What up, C <laughs> <laughs> so 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 should so should I do a recap and clarify the stores that are listed, gang? Yeah, one more time. Okay, so let me throw the screen share back up again so we can get a look at that shoe again. And um, he he just fucking with me now. I'm sorry. No, I'm not. I'm really oh. not. Oh, okay, okay. Um, Austin is off the list for Nice Kicks. They will not be selling the shoes from the H Town Sneaker Summit Super Collaboration. So again, the other cities where you can get the shoes are Chicago at Uprise, 
Los Angeles at Factory 413, New York, Super NYC, and Seattle, Alive and Well. So um, those are the four stores and also on sale from 3 to 7 February 17th at the H-Town Snicker Summit in limited quantities. The shoes will be available in Houston. So come on down. Get more incentive to go, get more incentive to show up by the day. I wonder if I could get like an eight and an eight and a half and put them together. Knew <laughs> them. Nah, that them wouldn't work. Yeah, that, yeah, that might that not, that might not work. I don't know. Oh man, I got a hellified seamstress down here. He said, "I got hellified seamstress." He said, "Hellified." <laughs> hellified. <laughs> wow. Hellified. I'm sure I'm, I'm getting way too good right now. My wife, my wife really wouldn't approve of this. <laughs> she Man. hates that word, by the way. She hates hellified. Yeah, I'm, I'm still trying to think back to who started that one. Where did that one come from? I don't know. I love it though. It's it's way too it's way too Decatur. I like uh, I like uh, I like the San Francisco version. All, all my folks out there just saying hella. Everything is hella something. Oh yes, they, and they hella everything for real. Hella everything. <laughs> yes, you are not lying on that one for real. <laughs> So my, my favorite is uh Baltimore DC. What up, Joe? What up? I'm saying no, Joe. No, who yeah. is Joe? Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> wow, that that's a, that almost sounds similar to up in Washington Heights here in New York, where they don't say Yankees, they say Jankies. <laughs> <laughs> that's for real. Yeah, that's what's up. So while Matt is getting somebody to uh. Pop on the show for us. D Wells, why don't you go into this uh Wale situation? <laughs> oh, see. I, you trying Wale, to start some shit. The the Wale, yeah, you know why? Okay. What what was the famous song that Wale put out a couple years ago? Nike Boots? Okay. Yes. Wale About four or five years ago? What size shoe does he wear? I don't know. He's a nine and a half. Nine and a half, ten, right? Yeah, he's, a, he's a sample. Actually, he? no, he's sample size nine. That's he's right. Nine. Yeah, he's is Wally rocking some nine. Adidas? Yeah. Oh, he's, and he's rocking them faithfully. Like, he's oh, out there. Wow. Okay. So, he's been rocking them for the last few days. Okay, so let's be like. honest. Adidas cut him a check, and he yep. said, you know what? Hmm, just like Meek Mill took a check from Puma and will re-up again for next year for probably more money than he did this year. Wale is taking a check, MMG, all those cats like, you better go get that money, homie. You better go they get They told me to get him, I got him. Hey, hey, so, <laughs> we going we to really see. Here is where you crack that word up out, up out of his velvet case. Oh, hype man. Beast. Here is where we going to see a true hype beast because everybody – on foams and all of that, but it's You're not right. as popular. You are so you are right. Yep. When when heads switch up yeah. to this Adidas, you right. Because of Wale, you will see the the very true definition of a hype beast. Yep. It's sad. It, I mean, I looked at what site is that? Really? Soul Collector. Mm. Now, D, Damn. you and I, you and I both met the guy who was lacing Wale with all his shoes over at Nike. Yeah. So, I mean, he's no longer there, but we met him when the, the slinging of kicks straight to Wale was at its prime. Um, so, yeah. He, this, it, this, again, this is not, this, this sneaker, okay, this is going after the younger cats, the newer heads, who, you know, who are, gonna, who are big Wale fans, and they're going to buy this sneaker only because Wale is wearing this sneaker and endorsing this sneaker now. And, the, and, the, and, the, and say the what they one. will, say what they will, it will be evident. See, before they were insulated by the popularity of Nike shoes itself. Yep. So they could say, no, 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 I've been into this shoe. Frankly, my no, no, I don't no. give a damn. But this, <laughs> this will be blatant. <laughs> <clears throat> what is up with all this fucking print lately? Cheetah and Tiger and all this other shit? Like, it's leopard. It's leopard. I don't give a damn. It's 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 the new thing. It's the new style. It's that new I don't, style. I, I don't see it. Where's it at? You just took it down. Oh, it's on Soul, Soul Collector. Just go down to the um to the little uh, Soul Collector right there. You see it up on the screen? Yeah, there you go. I mean, the, the the actual shoe is cool, I guess. 
I just I can't get on with that damn print. Yeah, it's tough to deal with. And I can, and I, I like colors. And I like you know what? I, I try I, I try to check myself. I'm not gonna even lie. I check myself I'm like, yeah, am I just like just hating? No, I don't hate. I appreciate right, and right, I say right, good. Right, if I he's getting paid, that. good for him. It means more money for him to take care of his family and whatnot. But I'm like Everyone who's been following Wale for the past maybe what two years, maybe three, even four. longer. Three, yeah, longer no, than that. I was about to say longer than that. He, longer than that. I mean, his mixtapes. He put out Nike boots. He put out, you know, um, he even the put guy, out a remix. The guy who gets hold the guy who gets phone hold calls it six months in advance. Hold up, focus on uh, D. Can you focus on my screen? Yeah, because our boy Miles Coltrane said it best. Open the gates. Unleash the beast. You're right. He is wow. so right. <laughs> Shout out to mine. That is the truth, bro. You know what, though? I, I, I'm I very curious to see exactly, I mean, mainly because of what Miles Coltrane and Ridiculous saying. Everybody, you know, just check out the Heights, Hype Beast. But in, in, in Wale's defense, he is actually a kick. He, he, he fucks with the kicks. You know what I'm saying? I'm and not even mad at Wale. I'm about to say I'm 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 more so I, I want to congratulate the brother for getting yeah. the check. You know what I'm like saying? Because said, you got a lot paid. of people who rock Nike shit and don't see no money. Yep. Get so, paid. You know what I'm saying? Get like, paid. I, what, what I'm saying is, I rarely use that word because of its misuse. Because you know most people don't know the orientation of it. Uh, most people overuse it for anything that's that's somewhat popular, and they mad that they didn't get the shoe. I get the controversy of using that word. This term will come to front and center, full bore usage on this particular switch up. If he's getting a check from Adidas, you are so right. Not mess with Adidas. Will all of a sudden switch up? You might as well just accept that tag. Get a T-shirt with it right on the chest because that is all you can be at that point. Yeah. Well, let me play devil's advocate on it because I personally feel how you guys feel. But if anything is going to be the catalyst to get folks to wear other brands besides the two that they have in their closet, I'm all for this being the gateway drug. Hmm. Now, Absolutely. All, all, be it, all, mm. all be it, we've seen, again, documented, well documented for Wale over the last five years. We'll give it five solid. He has been Nike Jordan, Nike Jordan, Nike Jordan, Nike Jordan, with one or two shoes in between every now and then, a kamikaze well, year, you know, whatever there. But uh, everyone knows him predominantly for his Nike shoes. So that's no King, question King of the there. Phones. King of the phones. So if this is going to be the gateway drug that gets people to start checking for Adidas and Reebok and Supra and all those other brands faithfully, then I'll be the first one to say, all right, I, I give him a little dap for that. But I really don't have that much faith in people swaying and being that open-minded. I don't either. I, I don't either because I, I, think, I think people are so loyal to – to these brands, and I don't, I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, if a shoe is hot, it's hot. It doesn't matter what what logo was on on the shoe, and who made it. I mean, a hot shoe is a hot shoe. But, but at the same time, hey, there's nothing wrong with being brand loyal. Oh, it's, 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 it's not. It's, it's not. But I, I hear people putting down Adidas as if they make no good shoes. I, I hear people put down a Reebok, and I'm not a Reebok person like that. I, but there are Reebok silhouettes. There, there are silhouettes from every brand that you telling me all these silhouettes that come out from all these brands you don't like now. One, come on, man. I don't, right. I don't feel that. Like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I can't rock with nobody like that because you, you, you gotta. It has to be something in that catalog that you're halfway feeling. You know what I'm saying? And so, yeah, you want to be blindly loyal like that? That's cool. I'm not, I'm not so much hating on you. My thing is, have an open mind. Rock what you like. Don't be so so loyal that you're blind to the fact of looking at anything else. And he gets a absolutely, absolutely. I mean, that, that's that's my only issue with it. Here, and here's the thing: I I I think that this will open people up to to Adidas or to other brands. But again, my fear is it will open them up to only the model he's wearing. It won't get them to explore. They'll they'll wear what he's wearing. I don't know. I wouldn't say that. I don't know. I don't. I'm not that cynical on it. 
Look at uh, look at Reebok. I mean, Reebok and Adidas are doing a great job uh, marketing to pop culture icons Here, right here's now. Here's the thing. I'm not. I, I agree with you guys, but you guys are talking on the brand side. The brand is doing a good job. I'm talking about the mindless folks who who cater to this. But I, all it takes is okay. We've hit it off with this one, and then take a step forward with the next shoe and the next uh, spokesperson, or you know, if Wale's wearing it, so, you know, so be it. But it's easy to kind of continue on this thing with another silhouette now that they've done this. I'm I'm more honestly looking forward to Tiana Taylor's second shoe. I want to see what impact that's going to have. Hey, we didn't even mention that. That's a, a excellent thing to bring up. I mean, finally a women's lifestyle shoe that is co-signed by a big, you know, uh, pop culture icon. I think that's and, a huge and based, deal. And based heavily on one of their their court shoes from what was it uh, mid nineties. Mm. And 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 yeah. it's actually uh, hot. Late nineties, mid late nineties. <laughs> yeah, that's a dope shoe. That's, that's a dope, dope shoe. shoe. I was about to say, let's not forget. I don't give a damn whose face is on that shoe. That shoe is dope. Yeah, he yeah. don't don't send us any pictures of dudes wearing that shoe though. Uh, <laughs> no, well, well, listen, don't worry, yeah. we will see some. Listen, I was just getting ready to tell y'all. <laughs> I was just getting ready to tell y'all that Tiana Taylor already posted a picture last week of two people in her crew, two dudes. Wearing her shoes. Oh, it's gonna happen. Wow! I mean, look, if you look at that color, though, look at that colorway. Well, you're bound not, to see guys in that shoe. And not even yeah. the colorway, minus the back end of it, that the high, the high collar on the back. Like I said, it's based on a very popular Adidas basketball shoe. If I'm not mistaken, it was the one that had the sock line, the neoprene sock liner that could come in. And yeah, out. yeah. It's based on a men's, I won't say men's shoe, but a silhouette that a lot of guys were wearing on court. So it's, it's like a combination so of, of, of that joint and the uh, and the Batumbo. Yeah, it's not so foreign to us. Right. I like I like what they did with her shoe, and I'm glad that it's just for women. It should stay that way. That shoe is dope, though. It should stay that way. For those who have not seen it, because we get new listeners and viewers every week, so we can't take that for granted. I'll wow. put a little sneak teaser right there. There you go. So yeah, I like that. We talking? We talking about women and kicks real quick. I gotta put this up because I'm proud of my girl. My wifey is uh online, texting me while <laughs> while we having the show, and she's like, "Yeah, I'm looking at this list. <laughs> like he got him. He got him." He got him. <laughs> Shouts out to the wife bot. That's what's up. <laughs> oh. Yeah, hey, you know what? She's straight keeping track of all your shit. She's like, yeah, you can't bring them in. I be trying to fool my wife that's, with them that's, Jedi that's mind tricks, dog. I be telling you know, my wife, like, hey, she, you know I had those for about six or seven years. She's I tell, like, you, know I tell you. That I tell show you look new, though. I tell you what she call it. She, call, that's, she calls it the insurance wall. She was like, exactly. it ain't happen to you. These is moving. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, what up, babe? I know you hear me in the other room. Shout I ain't mad. Hey, I'm not mad. I told I told my wife if anything happened to me, just you know, make sure y'all sell off the, the, the signed shoes first. And, and, and make sure you put a pair of threes on my feet to bury yep. me. Yep. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Hey, everything else, you do what you need to do. You know what I'm saying? But I need I need a pair of threes on my feet, and I need y'all to keep those signed Barclays and signed LeBrons and sell them to That's the highest bidder. She sure enough is texting me during the show like, yep, you got them. You <laughs> got them. <laughs> Those Jordan 2012s back there? Yeah, he got them. Yeah, he, yeah, got, he got them. He got them. <laughs> That's funny. You know what's really going on, though, right? It's, it's one of these is happening. Um, that's worth about two hundred. Oh wow! 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 Her visor. She got her visor wow. and her accountant's armband on. Hey, she's straight caking. She's straight she's, caking. Already, she's, already, she's already up to sixteen, at least sixteen hundred right now. Right. So, you know, Matt, Matt, Matt yeah. Hatfield is up to something over there. Yeah, he is. What are you doing walking back and forth? What, Soul Supreme? Soul Supreme. Oh, oh my goodness. Soul Supreme is in the house. In the building. What's good? What's up, What's homie? What's up, man? Just came down to the office to watch the second, uh, I would say, second game. 
Turn it up. Turn it up. Turn it up. Hey, Matt, you, you guys can hear me, right? Yeah, we hear you now. Silence! I kill you! <laughs> <laughs> What's up, kid? Nothing much, man. We're up in All-Star Weekend yeah. every year. So, so, so I know you definitely plan on being in the house for the summit. Yes, sir. Sunday, we'll be there. So, so you, you, you displaying or you, you just being, being, being a nice, you know, enjoying the sights. Play for me anymore. It's that's too much work. Plus, I barely even made it this weekend, man. I, my, my job had me travel to Michigan, and I just drove to Cincinnati last night. And I, as soon as I got to Cincinnati, six hours of sleep, got up, drove down to Kentucky, hopped on my plane, drove down to Houston, and then now in Austin. Man. Wow. Why are you running like that? You somebody after you? Uh, <laughs> I, I, I meet all these guys every year. So, you know. Well, we're looking forward to catching up with you down at the summit, man, because it's been a while since I've me particularly since I've seen you. I haven't seen you since CGS two other than talking to you online. So it'd be good to catch up to you. You you're looking like a pop star now. <laughs> That's not what I'm going for, but okay. <laughs> nah, you all good, homie. You know that. You all good. So, what are you most looking forward to this weekend, man? Man, just you know, like I said, every every year we're just the only thing is trying to meet up with everybody. Like, um, we don't meet up. Simon, Paul, Simon lives in California. Paul lives in um, out in Oregon, and then Jermaine comes down sometimes from Alaska. So we only meet up every once a year. So this year again, it's just that excitement of all of us meeting up, grouping up together. Nice. That's the number one thing we look for, and obviously, you know, you know, whatever shoot you Yes, sir. And, and obviously, Jordan Brand party, always trying to get into that. So we'll see. We'll yeah, that this one's gonna be like Fort Knox, kid. MJ's fiftieth. Fiftieth. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you better walk in with Bieber or somebody. <laughs> we'll try to see at least we can get in first. Yeah, so that's gonna be that's gonna be a that's gonna be like trying to get into Fort Knox this year. But it must be an interesting try, though. It'll definitely be an interesting try. But um, let me ask you this, because you are one of those folks who is a connoisseur of the Jordan brand. So, what do you think of the twenty eight? The twenty eight. It's an interesting shoe. It's. I mean, it's still better than the fifteen to me. <laughs> oh, wow. He said it's still better than the fifteen. <laughs> 15. Wow. Okay. <laughs> use that stepchild, so I mean, I haven't tried a 28 on, so I'll hold my opinions till I try a shoe on. So until then, I mean, it looks good on court so far as I've seen, but I gotta try it on and see to get my full opinion on it. Word, word. So we we all looking forward to experiencing that somehow. Okay, like everybody's probably hoping the next shoe to be more stylish. It's it's nothing. It's they're not catering to that anymore, right? It's more like more on performance, and then and that's a good idea to stick on performance right now. Well, it was always a good idea for them to stick on performance and, and be able to tell a story too. But yeah, they should have stayed with performance. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, man, we're looking forward to catching up to you down in in Houston, man. You know, we we all mobilizing and get ready to get our planes together and and and, and trucks and everything to get together and get there. For this event, definitely, we'll definitely catch up Sunday, man. Yeah, it's good to see you, man. So you hang, hang tight while we get into the rest of the debauchery that we've been talking about, because it's been a while since you've seen us go in on some stuff. You know, so so we were talking about Soul Supreme. We were talking about Tiana Taylor's shoe with Adidas. So I'm gonna pull that up on the screen. So that's Tiana Taylor's shoe with Adidas. That's a sneak peek of it. So now, now the other thing is we were talking about the issue of whether Mr. Wale's shoe is going to lead to some Adidas converts. So there's Wale's shoe. A little sneak peek there. <gasps> So everyone, of course, knows him for all day, every day, Nike and Jordan, mostly Nike. And now he is uh, unveiling this weekend also in H-Town an Adidas shoe. 
What do you think about that? Well, you know how it's isn't it? He's getting paid good though, right? <laughs> See? See? <laughs> That's a pertinent question. That's a good answer. The perfect answer. He's getting paid, right? <laughs> I know he he ain't getting everything from Nike straight up. He's out. He's out trying to call people, trying to get his shoes, paying that market premium. At least he can just like find it. That's funny. He said, "How much? He, how much is he getting?" Oh, okay. He get paid. I'm, I know he's getting paid up. So, so do you think? I mean, you know what we believe in here. So, we believe in, in a lot of brand diversity. We don't believe in any one or two brands having so much power over your sneaker experience that you can't appreciate other shoes. Um, do you think this is a good thing if he ends up being a catalyst to more people checking out other brands? No, it's definitely it's definitely more of an open minded approach to say you know keep your options open you know if you rock one brand you just limit yourself to the excitement that may be out there so now he has with adidas he has options to create his own style his own colors his own materials and everything he might not get the exposure with nike all the time right right it's, it's, it's a great it's a great opportunity for him and for everybody else to see what he can do and you know what options they have to buy yeah good point good point man good point so you know, we're we're of the same mindset. Some of us over here are of the same mindset with that. So it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out also in Houston at the Gallery and Mall this weekend, especially considering. You know, here's the interesting fact, guys, that we didn't we didn't touch on when we were talking about this. Um, Saturday, the 1988 threes also come out in the Gallery and Mall. That's hmm. crazy. Yeah, yeah. Call the cops. That's crazy. Don't, don't don't get me started on that shit. So on one side of the gallery of mall, you will have this Wale with his Adidas shoe, and on the other side, or K Kodoma can correct us on geographics, you will have a release for the 1988 Jordan Threes. I am uh, hearing that Adidas built a store. Right on top of the House of Hoops, but I'm not Ow. certain about that. Yeah. So geographically, so they may be taking they may be taking place upstairs and downstairs from each other. Oh, well, I, I gotta get I'm footage saying. of this. I, I got I gotta get some footage yes, of this. Traditionally, <laughs> they, traditionally the Adidas store was at the other ass end of the mall, but from what I have heard, there's a brand new Adidas store. Sitting right above House of Hoops, mm. you gonna see some confused heads. They are gonna be looking up, looking right. down. Right. Oh, I can see that conversation now. Oh no, Wale's upstairs. Oh, so the Jordans must be up there. <laughs> <laughs> I know y'all seen the pictures of the of the of the setup Jordans putting in the middle of that mall, right? Yeah. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. That, that mall is gonna be bonkers on. I session. think we. I think we might. I think we might leave Girl. early. <laughs> I about to say we might leave early tomorrow just so I can get there early Friday. We need to get some footage of what goes down in that mall before we have to run out of there. <laughs> That's why I said I think we might be leaving early tomorrow. We might be leaving. We was gonna leave at like midnight. We might leave around seven or eight. I hope the gallery, because the gallery of mall is huge. I hope they got a lot of manpower, because that's gonna be a ridiculous day in that mall on Saturday. I think it's gonna be Friday and Saturday. Well, what happens that? What happens on Saturday? What happens on Friday? It doesn't matter. Everybody's gonna conjugate there anyway. I mean. Well, yeah. I mean, like verbs. Right. The the slight distraction on Saturday might be because um, Adidas is doing the do-over from two to ten on Saturday. That's on Sunday. I mean, on Sunday. Yeah. Sorry, Rakim what? is on Saturday. Oh, uh, what time is a Rakim? Damn, I gotta work Saturday night. Rakim is 8 p.m. Shit. Saturday night. He's got I'm, some openers, though. Yeah, he's got some. Yeah, so he Rakim is historically late for everything he does. So yeah, he but I got to I got to I'm working. So I'm already going until like 11. I'm already booked for bouncing on 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 Sunday and Saturday. Oh, are you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. We need to talk offline because I know yeah. you're going to be. I was to say I'm trying to I'm trying to get guap while I'm down there. Yeah, see you. <laughs> Hey, if you fuck around, we might I, I might be bringing some bringing something else too. 
<laughs> yeah, shut his mic off. Yeah. <laughs> Put his screen right, overlay up. up. <laughs> mic <laughs> off. Screen overlay up. Yo, he Cut put him up an overlay. He, he, you on punishment now. Put up an overlay, Yo, boy. Get him up. <laughs> oh man, that's so wrong. Hey, I'm trying to pay for my. I'm trying to pay for my trip down there, homie. Man, you are gonna be on pay for your trip and the next summit too. That's what you try. <laughs> 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 Trying to get it in. I'm trying to get it in. <laughs> oh man! Hey, Kadoma, you need somebody to shadow you. Holler at your boy. Yeah, man, we we're, we're gonna need you come Sunday. Already, hey, I'm hearing a me, lot of no, names me, being tossed. Me and my around. brother, hey, I already got them. Yeah, I'm not promising anything, but there might be some mobbing going on. <laughs> they, don't want, they don't want no pause of this shit. Hey, hey, so supreme. <laughs> my brother. You know we have to ask you about this. Okay. 1988 on the back. 1988 Jordan 3s. Nike Air is back on the back. Please weigh in. We have to get this from you. Please. Um, deal, honestly, I don't care if they put a jump man, they put Nike on the back of the shoe. As long as the quality is good, that's all I care for. But, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All this looks good, right? But, you know, I, honestly, man, that's, that's, the last of my, that's, the, that's the last of my concern. Quality is good. That's all that matters to me. They can release Nike, yeah, they can release OG style, quality box, paper, anything, everything. Make the quality good, man. Don't let that paint chip off in one way. Yeah. So so that is being spoken from a true Jordan brand connoisseur. And, and they listen to the show. So hopefully they understand that. For some of us, it really doesn't matter what you put on the back of the shoe. I want to hear his take on the $200 price point. Man, that's not cool either. <laughs> 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 $200 in, 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 what, less than 10 years? Yeah. Yeah. What killed me is they, they just brought the same shoe out last year, and it sat on shelves for $40 cheaper. That's what tripped me out. I can't remember what conversation we had. I think we were talking about it, and I admitted I was trying to get it. And I still had a little link for it, and I was ready. But um, I took another look, and we I think we were talking about SMU and or something, but I took another look at the shoe, and I really thought it was the original. Not the original, but I thought they were going to take it all the way back. But then I looked at the sole and saw the sole had the Jordan signia on it as opposed to the Nike that goes with the Nike on the back. See, you bring up and an interesting like, point. I was like, nah. Everybody's talking Nike on the back and exactly. nothing about the soul. Jordan's like, like everything. Nah. Look, as soon as I saw that, I was everything like, else. Exactly. Like, you know what? <laughs> and, and I got to give a shout out to Russ Bankston over at Complex because he put out on Twitter. He said, Jordan Brand should have pulled the ultimate practical joke on everybody and just put Nike Air only on the, to on the tongue. It left <laughs> everything else. Everything. Was and not regular. say anything and see what happens. That's funny. Oh, shut, that's a good one. Hey, I could call that the flip. That <laughs> word. <laughs> it's such a good point that nobody paid attention to the fact that Jordan is going to still be on the sole where Nike would be. You damn right. You know how many of those toolings they got waiting for you? <laughs> <laughs> they got toolings. The, they got those toolings waiting for you for the next ten years. You ain't lying, bro. Like, wait a minute. Read tool list and put Nike Air on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> This guy with his air on the bottom. <laughs> you must be one of those aficionados. <laughs> <laughs> Silly Negroes. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. I mean... I mean, that's why we had to ask you, Soul Supreme, because we already weighed in on it last week when we discussed it. But as we, you know, this being the final show before we all get down to the H-Town Sneaker Summit with all the craziness, you know, it was only fitting. If we, and we thank you for joining us, dude, because it's been a while since we had you on. But um, we, we definitely had to get your opinion on, on the state of such. does look a lot better on the black, black cement, though. <laughs> Say again? The Nike Air does look a lot better on the black cement, though. But the black cement shoe was made worse than the white one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they're really going to be getting people. Damn. You know? Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> 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 
So 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 what shoes Soul Supreme? Because I know you don't buy like you used to, because you're too damn busy running from state to state to state. What shoe are you looking forward to this year? Any brand? Any brand? Any shoe? Yeah. I just like most of the stuff that I've been buying recently has been spur of the moment. Like no retros that I really look forward to. I mean, if something comes out with good quality, I'll pick it up. Looks good. I'll buy it. But as far as the hype. This, this just hasn't been there. The last sneaker that I was really excited about was the Fire Red 3. And I bought like five pairs of those. Even though the quality on those was not superb. But it's just one of my um, shoes that I really look forward to. Got you. Got you. Are you, are you going for anything this weekend? Um, probably some Barclay. <laughs> oh, the, uh, positive, the Barclay positive? There you go. Yeah. The, 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 um, the what's that? The, um. <laughs> The, the, the ray guns? Yeah, the ray gun, Barkley Posit. I got a lot of I need to pick up some stuff for someone. Somebody wants LeBron, somebody wants KD, somebody wants Kobe. So we'll see what I'll, what I'll like to get my hands on for everybody. Well, I don't have to worry about that. All the 15s are European. <laughs> <laughs> All the 15s are European, though. So you know where to go to get yours already. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on it, man. But, you know, you know how that shit go. Yeah, it's, it's 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 a struggle. It's a struggle, but it's gonna be a very interesting weekend all weekend in Houston, all weekend. Um, especially with that Saturday situation with the Gallery of Mall and then the Sunday All Star I want, Summit. I want to remind everyone: last time the All Star Game was here in two thousand six, the Gallery of Mall was shut down on Saturday. Because it had reached capacity, so yep. if you're planning on going to the Gallery of Mall on Saturday, you probably want to get there a little bit earlier and uh, plan mm. on staying and hanging around. Early, like 10 or 11. <laughs> that ain't early. No, nah, that's not early. That's, that's about right. <laughs> that's yeah. about right. I mean, what time does the mall open on Saturday? 10? At, at 10. That's what I'm trying yeah. to tell you. Yeah. It's at 10. Well, you know what? Unless they, they change the hours, it's, it's, it, usually most malls open up at 10. No, uh, that's hurts that I can't yeah. get down there with y'all, but y'all got to do me a favor, man. I will be sticking to the Instagram, so just be blowing it up. That's all I ask. Yeah. Just, just send all kinds of pics. Whatever you see, you know, keep me in mind. Be like, we got to send this back to Jess. What, I'll be whatever I see. It was nice. Nice yeah, whatever you see, man. Okay. Hey, 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 Soul Supreme. Peace, Soul. Thank you for joining us, homie. Matt, about to see you in a couple of days, Pimp Juice. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You guys got to say what up to Justin and Simon. Uh, what's good, brothers? So what's up? We see that UT jacket. We see you building it up. We yeah, see the witness t-shirt. I need that. Hopefully y'all going to be in town for the summit, but if not, enjoy it. I need that jacket to go with my KDs. <laughs> we couldn't hear you. What you yeah, say? My feelings with that jacket. So we got two tables out there at the summit on Sunday. Okay, for sure. Y'all yeah, we'll doing it up? Thank, thanks for joining us for the OSD experience, kid. So Matt, we will holler at you, homie. We'll see y'all Sunday. So we we'll see you on Sunday. We'll, we'll see y'all before that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you will. Because everyone going to want to go to Galleria and see how crazy it's going to be. Yes, sir. Cool. All right. Silence! I kill you! <laughs> <laughs> so, so, D, if we could we get, get Matt, Matt's screen up out of there. Yep. But somebody's looking all tasty. <clears throat> Oh, he, already did, he did it for us. He's like, close that. Right. <laughs> get out of here. Oh, <laughs> So what's our final order of business before we close out episode number 248? Man. We, we, let's just to recap, we covered Under Armour's global campaign. Yep. Adidas's marshmallow shoes. <laughs> the awesome collaboration between Supra and our good folks down in the H-Town. Wale and his Adidas and Under Armour and they're 39. And I also, I, I don't want to be remiss in doing this because I got to give them, I got to make sure I, I, I look, look, look out for them. I got to give a shout out to the folks who are doing this event on Friday. I'm going to throw this up on the screen real fast. 
doing this event on Friday in Brooklyn called Soul Glow. So, you know, yeah, that was a bad singing rendition, bro. That was <laughs> oh, I'm I'm not a singer, so you know what I mean. <laughs> but shout out to the folks who are doing this event. That is my movie, though. Called Soul Glow on Friday in Brooklyn, three blocks away from the Barclays Center at Free Candy. If you're around town from 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. in Brooklyn, come on down to this event called Soul Glow at Free Candy. DJ CEO, DJ Wayne Ski, who are two of the better DJs in the tri-state area who spend some good stuff. And sponsored by Heineken and Yellow Rap Bastards, YRB, politically speaking. And it says here on the fly, it's a night of respect, appreciation for everything sneaker culture, backed by a soundtrack of soul, funk, disco, and break beats. So the music is going to be live, and we're going to have sneaker lovers in the house. So... Once again, that's Friday, February 15th at Free Candy. So if you can make it out from the Tri-State area, I will definitely be in the building. And I will see y'all there. So what else we got the next order of business before we close out? D, anything? Um, Man, we covered a lot of ground, man. a lot of events. H-Town Secret Summit, NBA All-Star Weekend. Absolutely. And, um. New new episode for Burn Rubber just dropped. Uh, I want to say it came out yesterday. Man, that episode was hilarious. It, uh, dropping it pretty consistently once a week, huh? Yeah, they are. They are. That uh, their whole season was be six episodes, so they're um, they're doing it. They're doing it. That episode, that last episode, was hilarious. It was. It really was. I mean, that that whole thing they went through with trying to get some shells hung up. That was hilarious to me. I couldn't understand why that was so difficult. And then that party they went to without me giving away too much. Y'all need to watch that episode for real. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Watch that episode for real because that was a hilarious episode. I mean, as far as – as tell, tell, tell the people where they can find it again. Um, It's all over the place, It's honestly. all over. If you go to, if you go to um, YouTube and then just look up for – for loud, you want to make sure you watch, you know, episodes one, two, and three. Episode three just dropped yesterday with guest star being uh, Big Sean. So, um, yeah, definitely, definitely, real, real, real good. Actually, we'll put uh, we'll put the link in the in the show notes uh, as well. So, hey, that's oh. something we need to mention. Um, man, Big Sean's Adidas. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. you know, Big Sean, Tiana Taylor, Nawale, you know, they're consistently doing it. Steve, know about it's not Rosario just Wale. No, it's not. But, it's not just Wale. Believe me, like I said, they we, we can take it all the way but back you to Miss think, Elliot. You think that one Wale shoe is gonna kind of set it off. I think it is because those other artists are just as popular for their music. Some even more so. Missy Elliott was a monster, but not even yeah. she got people to wear Adidas. Uh, watch the migration that happens. Again, I'm not upset at anybody in the game doing it. Wale, make your bread. Adidas, good. Pick up, and even for those who are legitimately curious, great. Come on over to the other side. Mm -hmm. Get multiple pairs of different brands. I'm all for it. I'm just saying, watch the initial migration. It will be those who follow Wale to the letter. And and, and shout out to Wex Wex 1200 John Wexler. Shout out to you, homie. We'll see you in the YouTube. They're just cutting a lot of big checks lately. That's only the thing yeah. I can say. Well, Reebok is too. Yeah, yeah. Reebok is Reebok is doing. See, Reebok gonna like Adidas has done big big entertainment. Reebok's done big entertainment. So it's, it'll it'll be an interesting time to see who who gets them to switch. And I think I think Wale is he carries enough weight you think to get he people to switch. That I think he does. I think I think I think you gonna get a switch. I'm sorry, repeat that. Just I don't know if you're gonna get a switch. I think you'll get some curiosity, but I don't. I don't know if Wale can do a full-on switch. Yeah, right? I don't think he's. I, I don't think he's powerful enough for that. Yeah, I think people I are gonna know. really I... see if he's committed. They're gonna be like, okay, Yo. did he get a shoe? Because I think people are gonna be he's able to single. see like oh, he got a check. You know what I mean? Yeah. If they like, if he comes Yo, out with a couple models, they might be like, there may be something to this. That's... The the check portion, you're right. People are gonna check him for 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 taking that money, and they might not follow in droves. But let's not fool ourselves. 
he is single handedly behind the push for all of these phones over the last three years. Single handed, mm -hmm. man. Not even Penny himself was moving phones like Wale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I give him credit for the phones, but he, is he going to do that with a with a uh, with an Adidas? Nah. Nah. Uh, there, there's yeah. some who trust his style. It's not even just the shoes. There's some you should hear some of the comments, or, or excuse me, read some of the comments after Wale puts up an outfit, not just shoes, but they're talking about his jeans. They're talking about his T-shirt. People follow his yeah, style love, to the letter. Here, last year's All Star Game in Orlando, Penny thanked Wale for bringing his shoes back personally. Wow. Yeah. Exactly. That's huge. That's they huge. follow his style to the letter, bro. They do. You'd be surprised. And just you You'd saying be surprised at how many people follow not just his footwear, but what he's wearing. Yeah. Jesse, what were you saying about my ex Rosario Dawson? <laughs> Check your Instagram because they yeah. had a little they had a little opening for that running shoe out here. Yeah, they did. She and was they had Big shit. Sean was out here, and then Rosario was sitting in the front row looking good as hell. Yeah, she was here, and I was like, she's one of them. So yeah, yeah, they're trying to get a couple different avenues. I don't know if they're going to partner her with Stella McCartney or or what they're trying to do. Yo, but she was sitting yo, in the front row. Yo, the Stella McCartney Adidas stuff. Wow. Yeah. That's all I have to say about the Stella McCartney Adidas stuff. Shout out to Rhyme NYC because they are slinging that shit. <laughs> Stella McCartney's Adidas work? Yeah, Stella, hey, Stella gets it in. Stella what? McCartney's Adidas joints. Stella! Get it in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, 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 I mean, I, I do think Wale could potentially be the gateway drug to Adidas, but... I don't think he's going to, you know, for, and, so. and, the, and the reason why I say that is because that whole Maybach music group is too segmented already because mm -hmm. Tiger's on Reebok, Ross is on Reebok, Meek is on Puma, now Wale's on Adidas. They're all over the place. They just all, and you can see that they're just all about getting money, hey, which is nothing hear, wrong. Uh, did you hear Ross's line? He upgraded from uh, Nike to Reebok because he wants uh, real checks? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. pretty clever. So, um, you know, they're, they're all over the place. You can see it's really for them all about, which, again, it's America. Ain't nothing wrong with it's it. It's almost like uh, Wu-Tang, how they all uh, went to different record labels. These yep. They're all going to different shoe brands. Exactly. So for that reason alone is why I don't see him having that much power, per se, doing the Adidas thing. It is a good gateway, but... Strategically, business-wise, they're all on different brands as far as footwear goes. It's segmented. I mean, Stolly, who knows what Stolly is doing? Ain't none Stolly. of them carrying his weight, though. Not in, not inside, made by music. I, 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 yes, I get you on that, yes or no, but people, believe it or not, really are paying attention to Squiz and Ross. Hey, Ross carrying mm -hmm. some weight. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we need to end the show on that. We're ending the show on that. Oh, Yo, fellas, night. have a good time, man. I really, I'm really, i battling with the fact that I didn't make it down, but have a good time, yo. Yo, we appreciate it. Oh, that's all right. We ain't going anywhere, man. We're going to have plenty of uh, more fun times together. That's right. And, and Kadoma, um, could you give us last minute, one more time, final for anyone who's on the fence? Man, Just... if you haven't made travel plans, get on the bus, get out of here. It's going down NBA All Star Weekend right here in Houston, Texas. Of course, you got everything starting tomorrow. It's crazy. Just too much stuff to list to mention. Uh, I know Adidas is doing a release at Premium Goods tomorrow. Uh, I think Sneaker Pimps has a thing at Active Athlete tomorrow. We're all going to be hanging out at Junction Bar where we're at every Thursday. Bun's got a party at Bamboo tomorrow. Friday. Man, I have no idea. There's just too much stuff going on. Friday is Tiana Taylor's release at the Adidas store in the Galleria. Correct. Saturday is, uh, you Wale. know, the 88 threes are coming out. Wale is going to be there. Bun B is going to be interviewing all your favorite Jordan brand athletes. Uh, Russell Westbrook, Blake Griffin, uh, Chris Paul. And who else is on Jordan brand that I'm missing? Mellow. Carmelo Anthony. How can I forget? 
There you go. There you but, go. Um, and, you know, Sunday it's going down H-Town Sneaker Summit, Woodlands Waterway Marriott, 3 to 7 p.m., and then we're all going to find a place to go watch the game afterwards at an undisclosed location. And there it is. It's going to be a good time, man. And Houston is going to be officially be turned up. <laughs> up. And Kodoma? Yes. Could you hold the red shoe up one more time? Hold your red shoe up. I don't want to do it to Heat, so you can hold the blue one up too because he's going to want to beat the shit out of me when he sees me. <laughs> <laughs> you hold the blue oh. one up too. There you go. Teaser pick. Bam. Available at the H-Town Snickers Summit and the locations we mentioned earlier in the show. Again. Very good quality materials, design, everything you look for in a sneaker. I think our man Soul Supreme said it best. You know, I I couldn't I can't think of anything else we could have put into these. I could. You could. Yep. Marshmallows. Okay, we, need, we need to talk. Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So if you're getting down to H Town, we want to wish everybody. A safe, safe trip. Yeah, yeah, and holler at us too. Don't be scared. Don't say, "Oh, I saw you," but I didn't want to say, "No, nah, man." <laughs> yeah, just come yeah. up, say what's up, and you know, ask what we got going on later that night. We're we're cool people. For real, for real. I, I second that one because you know we get the whole mythical beast treatment. There they go. Yeah. Look at them. And then I, and then next week we'll be like, "Oh, I saw you." I saw that guy. He acted like he didn't want to speak to nobody. No. It's not even like that. We are all personable. <clears throat> if you there, we got love for you because Kicks got us in the door, but that's not what, you know, the end all be all is. You know, so please, by all means, we want to connect with everybody down there. So be safe in your travels to H-Town, and we wish you some good times and a safe return home with definitely some good memories to share. We know you're going to be doing that in real time anyway, thanks to Instagram and Twitter. 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 Good times. <laughs> there we go. Twitter. Twitter. The D, you going to shut it down? I think we lost paper. Is Mike cut out? Yeah, we did. We, we definitely did. Man, well. No, I'm here. I'm here. Oh, okay. We're like. I might have froze up for a minute, but I'm here. <laughs> Yeah, I was doing a running man in suspended animation for a second. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure y'all rock with us. We'll be back next week. Episode then at that point in time be episode 249. This has been episode 248. Not from Houston, but I rap a lot. Man, yeah. man, man. Tell your friends though, how we get down. Make sure you check us out. Always, always, always. Keep your laces tight, tightly. Your tongue loose and walk good. And as we come back next week, Man, we're going to have some stories for you. Might not be none we can share, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. He is gonna kill someone. <laughs> Yo, put that back up, Jesse. What is that? Oh, those are crazy. <laughs>